So, you guys are making your way out of the dungeon, also known as Elias's Dragon Temple, uh, the Sachin Dragon Temple, and he leads you to the entrance, and he points to the little podium that still has a bowl of candy uh, sitting atop it, and uh, he, he speaks up. Uh, did you like the candy I laid out? Uh, feel free to take the rest as compensation for all that harsh villainy talk. Uh, <laughs> the candy I was carrying did get wet. It's not going to uh, oh, get, get another no. pound worth. Yeah, it's like all molded well. into one big candy block now. <laughs> 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 my, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie jawbreaker in my pocket. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, it's a damn it's I, a darn I mean, shame. Some of those brands are not even being manufactured anymore, I hear. It's a, it's a big shame. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to stop halfway towards eating one of these corn taffy things and then just slowly <laughs> put it in my pocket instead. <laughs> and uh, wh where did you get all where did you get all these candies from if I can ask? Uh, imports mo mostly. It, it would cost a, f it would cost a fortune. I'll let you have that. Uh, some of them from <laughs> Trevisetta, some of them from the other kingdoms around the continent. Uh, they were not easy, but uh, I wanted to make sure that, you know, you had the best of time going through the temple, only the best for the pilgrims. Well, they're delicious. They survive. <laughs> of course, of course. And he leads you out of the temple. And as you do head out to the grassy hills that w will lead you home, you know, to the main town of <laughs> Sasha, you hear a sharp yell come your way, muffled by, as if they were behind some sort of a uh, metal helmet of some kind. Pilgrims, I oh, have what? come to bring your doom. <laughs> oh, that uh -huh. was fast. And I'm gonna play some music here. <laughs> we are so popular today. And uh, you oh, can see Elias just kind of uh, chuckle to himself and he goes, oh, rotten roots, here we go. Oh. And mm. you guys are out here. You can see, standing in the Ooh. middle of the path back to Satya, what seems to be an armored figure of some kind, clad in a heavy plate and brandishing a spear decorated with ornate carvings, a hefty helmet adorned with horns from the fiery pits of the Nine Hells itself. And More the armored figure uh, speaks up again. Well done getting the dragon hearts there. Fortunately for you, I have come to relieve you of it. Do we have to fight this guy? Like, for, we can't just walk past him? I was this close to taking heat metal this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Elias just chuckles and turns back towards the temple. And uh, he's just, I'm just going to go clean up the temple. You lot uh, head to, uh, to the town hall and meet with Lord Candela when you're ready. And she can get you all prepared for Nuba Sky. But best of luck to you against this villain. And he turns back and heads back into the temple. Is it really Thank you. villain with jazz Thanks, hats? Elias. <laughs> this is a complicated situation. Is it uh, really fair that all four of us fight this one? I mean, do you guys want to pick your draw straws or? Uh, <laughs> I, I go are you over volunteering? I, I pick up what? this great sword. <laughs> that is oh. today's great sword. I'm gonna need you to make Perfect. a strength check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna party once we get set up over here. Hold on. Would that be yeah. athletics? Uh, yes, athletics. If you if you wish. That's good. <laughs> you pull and pull. Yeah and it doesn't budge at all. It's a pretty hefty sword, and the armored figure laughs. <laughs> Weakling. And she gestures oh. to herself in her clad armor. <gasps> La Destructora. Oh. oh, man, she's terrifying. I am La Destructora, the destroyer, and with my evil companion, El Coco, we have come to El spread Coco. devastation across Elinthi, starting with your precious dragon, Deconic Pilgrimage. And you can see beside her oh. is a horrific, bloodthirsty hound clad in equally intimidating armor. Yes. Yes. Is that cardboard? Show me the picture. Show me the picture. <laughs> that sure does look up. like cardboard. Pull it's a good it thing up. I didn't prepare heat metal this morning. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. 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 <laughs> evil hellhound clad in intimidating <laughs> spooky armor. Is Incredible. your spear made of wood? <laughs> she she simply just kind of uh, sighs and shrug, uh, shrugs her shoulders a little bit. It was the best I could do, what can I say? 
Yeah, love a girlie on a budget. (laughs) I pull out two daggers. Let's get this over with. She brandishes Damn, will you permit me to cast speak with animals before we start the fight? I would really like to talk to that dog. You you may, actually. Hold on, let me put Thank you. Yeah. On the there we go. So, yes, you you speak with animals, and you can hear uh, El Coco is very excited. You can hear kind of under his breath, it's like, ready to scare, ready to scare, ready to scare. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. I'm going to quietly say, who is a good boy? <laughs> I am good boy. Wait, no, I am not good boy. I am bad boy. I am evil boy. Spread evil destruction. Yes, then be good boy later. This is incredible. Powerful. And I'm very happy that it's happening. <laughs> and I'm going to need... Oh, what's up? I was going to say, I lean down to Fritz and I, and I say, I bet you the rest of your candy on the... I, I got my money on... I got the rest of my candy on the law destruction. La Destructora. What do you think? Okay. I put Against I put me. half I'll put half a handful in. I'll put half a handful in. You got me. Alright. Okay. And with that, I'm gonna need everyone, real quick, to roll for initiative. Yeah, there we go. Uh, a little early. But uh, you can oh, add you can change your initiative yeah. to that nineteen <laughs> once you in the meantime, also, we must battle this formidable opponent. Yes. I want I want the um, the audience um, to know that the track playing is La Destructora. <laughs> she has her own theme. Aw. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait for her to come back 20 levels later. Just oh, absolutely God. terrifying. <laughs> Genuinely like another dragon. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. And La Destructora. And her hellhound. <laughs> Old 13. Oh, I thought you got a zero. I thought they got a zero as well, but this is fine too. No, it just yeah. automatically adds it at zero um, when you first add it in. And Poi, uh, your first initiative is six. So it will be yeah, that. Sorry, it was so laggy. So first up is a word. All right. I'm going to. Just rush forward, and uh, I'm going to make a jump, and I'm going to try and cut off the tip of her weapon. Okay. Mm. Not attacking her at all? No, not directly. Okay. Just Show cutting the cardboard stick. Cutting the, the spear. Do it, dagger. Do it well. Nice. Yes. yes. You slice it yeah. off handily <laughs> with just, like, shoot like butter. This thing is made of, like, PVC pipe. <laughs> Perfect. And I you can see she chuckles. <laughs> you think that I am nothing without my weapon, you fool. Try me. Anything I just, else? Just stand back there. Yeah, that's uh, it. Nah. Well, yeah, I don't have any crazy bonus sections. Buck, your turn. Um, Watch him one shot me. I put my <laughs> money on. I put my money or my candy on La Destructora, so I'm going to. Uh, not, maybe I'll just move, like, here, just to make sure nothing bad happens, and then I'll end my turn. Okay. Because I want to, I want to, I think work can, I think word can do it. <laughs> Lyra. But I, but I'll step in if something bad happens. Okay. Lyra, your turn. Yeah, uh, so for the folks at home, we just went up a level. Um, oh, yeah, they leveled up last session. I didn't say mm-hmm. it on stream, but yeah, they're level four now. Right, which means I have access to a couple spells I couldn't do when we were in the temple, and I'm debating if it's okay to use one of them. Um, <laughs> so I guess, uh, DM, would you permit me to cast uh, the second level conjuration spell, Summon Beast? Summon Beast, oh, gosh. I would. Why, thank you. What do you wish to summon? Uh, well, uh, it's... I would like to summon, uh... A larger, scarier-looking dog. <laughs> <laughs> a larger, scarier-looking dog. I don't know that I have a token for that. That's okay. So, I will simply put... Let's see, what's the closest thing I have to a dog? Can you just copy the dog? You know what? Yeah, I'll, just copy, change the... <laughs> I'll copy the dog and make it larger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I think it's technically supposed to be a small animal, but you oh, know okay. what? <laughs> a small animal. It's a there small it beast. Uh, <laughs> a smaller, scarier dog. <laughs> a smaller, scarier dog. <laughs> like a really mean looking chihuahua. No, but I will get yeah, like one. bigger than the uh, La Destructora's uh, terrifying beast. Yes. But, oh, um, does he, did she say his name? 
Uh, El Coco. Yeah. El Coco. El Coco. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad about attacking this person. Um, I think I'm just going to let uh, uh, El Coco 2.0 over here look extra scary this turn. I don't know. Is there some kind of check I could make yeah, for intimidation? Yeah, you want to make an intimidation? Yeah. I, I would. Uh, let's see. I get a plus two on this. Uh, I don't know if this little guy uh, with his charisma of five uh, gets to do that. So is this me or, or, uh, or, let's or the do scary dog? Let's you... Wait, All right, is, let's... is there a... Is there... So... Doesn't have a rule for it. Um, wait, bestial spirit. It does have a stat sheet. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, so it's minus three charisma. So r Right. So <laughs> am, I, am I rolling that? Yeah, d20 minus three. Okay, uh, is that, wait, Great. I don't know what I just, no, hold yep. on, I don't know what I, <laughs> nope, <laughs> oh yeah, 1d20 minus 3, fantastic, <laughs> alright, so I, I went for scary and it just ends up being very cute. Yes, it is very cute and almost exactly mirrors uh, El Coco on the other side as it's panting and kind of licking, and you can see, uh, you hear with your speak animal El Coco on the other side, Ooh, friend, no, enemy, enemy, must destroy, then be friend, later, hmm. Must sniff to be sure. Him. Sniff, <laughs> sniff for most of the day to be sure. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> I've confused him. All right. Uh, I don't want to attack him, so I think that's the end of my turn. <laughs> All right. La Destructura uh, turns around to you, Ward, with her broken spear, brandishing it with all her might. You think this is enough to stop me, you foolish pilgrim? Have at you! Yeah. <laughs> and oh, oh jeez. She thrusts with what's left of her spear, and she pierces your skin, <laughs> stabbing you with all her might. You take one damage. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fall on the ground weeping. <laughs> Actually, Word, what? Up next? Oh no, Fritz is. And uh, El Coco, uh, she commands her hellhound companion, El Coco, attack! And El Coco just like comes down like next to you, word and barks mm. at you. Woof. <laughs> and then you just hear her. Good boy. <laughs> Fritz, your turn. Um, I guess I'm gonna come walk over, knowing that I and like over to Buck, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm gonna watch this play out. God, I love cosplayers. <laughs> God, I love cosplayers. They're so fun. They're not on my turn. I'm just watching. I'm just chilling. Next word, your turn. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna put on a whole scene and just like clutch my chest where she stabbed me and be like, oh, what a wild, what a wild. And I fall to the ground and I'm gonna use uh, grovel, cower, and beg. <laughs> what? <laughs> a classic action. Just weeping and crying. <laughs> just nursing, licking my wounds. Uh, so anyone who <laughs> would dare to attack Law Destructora has advantage. Amazing. What? <laughs> That's what that does? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. That's that's my turn. Oh, wow, Buck. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I guess I, I, I'll, I'll say, he's down, get him! <laughs> to La Destructora, because I, I want her to win. <laughs> Seize the moment. Oh, and I then didn't, I'll, I didn't bet on anyone. <laughs> didn't, you bet on word? <laughs> didn't you bet on word, Fritz? I'm going to bet on the dog. <laughs> All right, we're changing up our bets. You can bet on the dog. <laughs> I'm still betting that Word's gonna actually lose this fight, and then I'll. <laughs> I just keep wasting time and never actually attack. Lara, anything you want to do on your turn? Yes. Um, <laughs> this is really fun. Word's not actually incapacitated. He's just being uh, melodramatic. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, he's, but he's, he's within suiting the scene suffering. perfectly is what he's doing. Right, but he's within five feet of La Destructora, which yes. means Coco 2.0 gets pack tactics. Whoa. Um, Heck yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be like, oh, how dare you, villain? <laughs> Get him, my faithful hound. Uh, and then I am going to uh, let my faithful hound, uh, who I cannot move. Um, That's okay, I'll move him. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, how Can he actually close the distance? I mean, I could have summoned him close enough. I think it would be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, so I would like my, my small beast to, uh, just like, just like, just like ram into her, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just like, uh, just, a. Uh, <laughs> like maul, but with no claws out, you know, uh, 
let's see. Pull? So pack tactics give uh, give my my beast advantage on the attack roll because word is close by. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, just one attack, my spell attack modifier to hit, reach five feet, one target. Uh, and you are also flanking, so that will be plus two to hit. Really? That's good. Uh, so I guess I'll just roll a, a d20 and we'll figure out what yeah. to add and subtract. Uh, What's your spell attack mod? Uh, good question. It should be like plus three or something. Uh, oh, hold on. It's plus three. Plus yes. three. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so, hold on. I think I can just re uh, roll from here. Uh, Possibly. So D20 plus five. Yep. So, Coco <laughs> 2.0 rams into her and just, you just hear a uh, just as he rams into this like cushioned outfit that she has on and strikes down La Destructura no. as she is flung back in slow motion, dropping limp <laughs> onto the soft grass below her. She curses under her breath. Damn you, pilgrims! You may have defeated me this time, but I will get you eventually. Coco, to me! And her hellhound bounces to her side. She lifts her hand, throws a smoke bomb to her feet, obscuring their escape as they vanish without a trace running back towards the town the way you came. <laughs> you have defeated the candy. La Distractura. That was intense. Excellent. Cough up work. the candy, Buck. Cough up the candy. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I, I hand over all my can the rest Coco of my candy. Coco 2.0 yeah. gets many scritches. <laughs> I go over, I'll go over and help word up from the ground. <laughs> she did actually get me there. I think I got a bruise. Coco 2.0 is fully sitting on word now. <laughs> Just like lying on top of him. <laughs> this is that. <laughs> that was an interesting thing to. I guess we have a an official rival now for the rest of our adventure. Mm. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah, that that might actually turn into a problem. Oh wait, when we supposed? Are we gonna leave a weapon here? I think oh, after no, we succeed. Oh no, that's when we're done. Yes. Oh, like fully, fully yeah. done. Aww. Yeah. And that's, that's if we I... want to. We don't have to leave a weapon. I don't know. Did she mm. leave her broken spear? We could. Start it off oh. by. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I go grab the tip of the spear and just a like plant it deposit? into the ground. Yeah. You can see that it's a made deposit. out of cardboard and duct tape. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, I, put it on, I put it on a rock, I guess. <laughs> was that, Everybody starts somewhere, I suppose. Uh, 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 DM, would we be able to tell? Was that like a child that. <laughs> uh, no, like, she, that seemed, just... she seemed of average humanoid adult size. And had okay. a you know ma fairly mature like full grown voice. Okay. If you would like, well, you can give me a, a, a retroactive insight or uh, perception. <laughs> I would love to do that. I can't believe none of us <laughs> thought to do that. Okay. I wonder if she's ever actually stopped anybody from doing the pilgrimage. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Kind of lucky today. But you are feeling lucky, and like judging from what you could tell. This person is very trained in their role, whatever they're playing. They're not a voice you are familiar with, but you can tell they've done this before. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> what does my critical fail on my insight check get me? <laughs> that this is the most evil, devastating villain you've ever faced. Whoever they are, they must be stopped. My she God. does want to destroy the world by taking our, our heart. <laughs> <laughs> and then waiting five years. <laughs> Truly formidable. Yes. Perhaps she was attempting to lull us into a false sense of security. <laughs> Check your pockets. Make sure she didn't actually just get it. We must be on our guard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's actually managed to steal it. <laughs> she pickpocketed us. No, yeah. checking your pockets. We lose good. the heart ten feet uh, out. Elias's heart is still in your pockets. You're fine. Oh, very well. Wow. Well, that was, I mean, quite interesting. I, I wonder, should we, I think we're going to head back now to the Sashia. Um, we have, we're expected to meet up with the, the ruler of the town. I, what's her, what's her, her, name, her, role her title is Lord. That is just Lord. The, the title. The um, you know that Lords are voted in and that, you know, it's like fairly rare that they stick around longer than like, I don't know. 20 years they're not like a it's not an actual like uh, monarchy it's just 
that's the naming convention the DM has come mm. up with and has a hard time finding new terms to use for this fantasy Fair world. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, do you guys want to head to the Lord now, or was there anything you guys wanted to do before we did that? I mean, didn't we have to talk to that dragon guy? He did request that. We have to, yeah. Mm. Also, what is our business with the Lord of the city? Do we require her dispensation to leave or something? Or I don't think just... that's the case. I think she's supposed to help us get over to New Basquet um, oh. a little bit easier. Yes, that would and be I, good. We could probably use all the help we can get. I don't know if you guys did everything you wanted to do, but we could head back to Sachi and tie up some loose ends, seeing as we're about to hit the road for what could be quite some time, I would imagine. Yeah, yes. I, I personally thought we'd already be gone, so... <laughs> I already yes. said my goodbyes like twice. I think tying up loose ends is a good idea. Let's do that. So, what is the plan? Uh, who do back you to wish town. to visit first? Can I ride the dog on the way back? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. So, you head back into good old Satya. Let me get the music playing again. So, you head towards... Satya, down back down the road that you came. And as you're heading that way, you can see that La Destructora gets further and further from your eyesight. Whoever she is, she has got some cardio going. <laughs> she keeps running and does not stop until she is completely Ooh. out of eyesight. However, who does come into eyesight is a familiar silhouette, some kind of small humanoid with wings. Ah. Uh, As they get closer this? and closer. Ah, the the bird guy. Mm. And or as the, they get closer, the you can fairy, see fairy. that it is Kip. Yep, there oh. she is. It's not who I thought it would be. The the sore loser that you beat uh, from the, <laughs> the in the loser. tournament to become <laughs> pilgrims. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then once she is within a decent distance from you, basically like earshot. Fireball. I mean, basically within earshot. Uh, she lifts a finger as if about to berate you, but then she doesn't say anything. She crosses her arm. She looks the other way. It's very clear she's internally wrestling with something. What's your deal? <laughs> she stares daggers at you, word, <laughs> and she just... And then she just kind of tries to hold in whatever nasty insult she was about to give. Are I you feeling I better? Did. I was really mean at the bar. <laughs> she flies up to you, Lyra, and she points you. You yes. and your stupid talk about this stupid responsibility and your stupid duty about the tree doing the right thing. You're stupid. She looks at all of you. You're all stupid. And I hate all Ooh, of you. You took my big chance away, good. and I'll never forgive you for it. Interesting. And? And she takes a deep breath, recomposes herself, <laughs> and she turns her body to, to Lyra again, but clearly avoiding eye contact. And she grits her teeth real hard. But you were right. You're so still stupid, but you're right. Especially about that thing about doing the right thing. I'm glad to hear it. Which is why I came to tell you, she leans in a little bit, I know where the weather witch might be. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. What? Hmm. Where is she? Now, normally I don't care about snooping around, but uh, Jorbid told me about what you guys had learned, and earlier this morning, I saw somebody moving into the house of some really bummed out drow. And I have a sneaking, <laughs> sneaking suspicion that she might be the one who might have caused the blot because she's not a local. I never seen her before. She's Let's still go in kick town. her ass. Wait, wait, wait! Before you do, I could have brought the guards myself and taken all the glory, but I worried that having a bunch of officials storming someone's house might cause a bit more panic than's necessary. And considering that you guys are going to be out there representing Satya, I wanted to see how well you handle things. See if you're really mm. all that. <laughs> Brutal. And also, I it. consider it a favor. I didn't have to tell you, but I am. Because I'm nice. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that read from you. Thank you. Truly. All right, let's go to... Wait, where's the house? I believe it's, it's our... It's probably Jarellin's <coughs> house. Yes. We, uh, we were there Our earlier. down on his luck drow friend, who it appears has zero friends left in this town. Isn't he supposed to get kicked out? I think he's already gone. I thought he left. Uh, yeah. It didn't seem yeah. like that he got a lot of time and he just had to leave. It seems right. like perhaps he was Let's supposed to. Let's go raid to. his old belongings. And she what the, kind of heads towards town anymore. alongside you guys, but doesn't really say anything. Oh, we're doing that awkward thing? <laughs> well, I mean, Walking she's in the same go direction at the same speed? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Mm -hmm. And on the way back, she makes, like, an effort not to make any conversation with you. Perfect. Um, we're we're going to pass by the farm that Koryak was working at, um, aren't we? Did we want to talk to him on the way back? Did you want yes, to? Yes, if it's on the way, we may as well. Yeah, let's I, I figured, yeah, I would like to s s talk to him. Okay, yeah. On the way back, uh, you can see that uh, uh, Koryak is still working on the farm. It seems like Jorbib has left the area um, for whatever reason. And you can see that as he sees Kip flying back with you, he kind of puts both hands on his hips and has a, a big old <laughs> smile on his face. And Kip, Kip just flips him the bird. <laughs> and he just uh, shakes his head a little bit as she continues flying back to town. Um, I'll walk over to uh, Koryak and I'll say, um, so you, uh, we just got done getting the heart. It's not a big deal. Did you say that you had something that you wanted us to look at? I can't quite remember. Something that you want us to speak to someone about? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, but of course, I understand. Yeah, no is an acceptable answer. <laughs> I have uh, a massive favor to ask you, seeing as you'll be traveling the damn country for a few weeks or so. Would you be in the means to deliver something for me? Uh, I guess it kind of depends where it needs to be delivered. I, uh... It's, uh, see, I, I do it myself, but, um, travel and shipment are quite out of the pockets when you're not the draconic pilgrims, and, uh, so, uh, seeing that you're going to Nuba Sky, I've, uh, a few family heirlooms, a crafts project I've been meaning to send over. Nothing big, of course, it's small, can fit in your pocket, but, uh, there's a little town called Viserli, south of Nuba Sky. I uh, haven't seen my family in a while, and considering you kicked my ass, you must be tough enough to make it out there as well. But right, there's well, a lot on your plate, so I won't be the last person to ask you to deliver something. So it's only natural deliver? that you want to keep your load light. Well, it's, I mean, it, we I mean it's, not, it's not that we're not going to deliver. I'll say that personally I'm not much for delivering things, but Fritz, uh, where's Fritz? Fritz, uh, <laughs> Hi, here. I heard uh, delivery. Hi, <laughs> you've been taking our mail to the mainland for a few years. I trust mm. no one better to bring stuff to my family. What I did not hear is uh, payment. Uh, well, he just kind of scratches the back of his head a little bit. Would, Would you, you be the one delivering it? I want to, like, smock at him, like, why are you asking for payment? You're not the one <laughs> delivering it now, are you? <laughs> well, we, we have to go together because we're the pilgrims, and I don't want to waste time going somewhere out of my way unless, you know, I get something out of it. You can make me a persuasion check if you wish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> Let's go. I hope What's it for us? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> and he he shrugs his shoulders a little bit. Uh, I I guess I can spare a little bit of coin just to make sure uh, you know certainty that it makes it there safe is only understandable. Yeah. You're gonna need some money for supplies anyway. I can promise sure you uh, ten gold there. pieces. Does that sound good? Yeah, that's fine. All right. And uh, I'm just <laughs> he lifts out a pouch of gold, hands it over, and oh. a second little satchel in leather. Mm -hmm. And he lifts the, the flap up to reveal a little wood carving of a smaller, kind of small-looking dragonborn uh, with similar horns Aww. to his. Aww. Hmm. Aww. That's cool. And who, I who I is I give it everyone two gold. Yeah. Aww. I have two gold. 
Uh, <laughs> who is it that you you said there's a family member or there's someone specific? I mean, who are we look who are we looking for and how would we find them? Hi, uh, it's a, a small group of white dragonborn, similar to yours truly. Uh, that one right there, that's a carving of me brother. I've been uh, working with me hands recently, trying to put myself in some more craft other than, you know, muscle crafts. He flexes a little bit. <laughs> Just to keep myself busy, seeing as I won't be going on the pilgrim, you know. Admirable. Makes sense, all right. Before we go through all of this, I've got to go through my usual procedure. Would you like this to be assigned on delivery? And would you like to have a certain cost to affect if anything bad happens throughout the jong? And would you like express delivery or anything along those lines? Uh, normal, typical delivery is good enough for me. Uh, as for insurance, I guess um, if you can't make it there without it being damaged, uh, a hug and a kiss to my mum would be good enough. Aww. Okay, okay, I can do that for you. I can do that and too. And signature on to, <laughs> to make sure that he got through to the right person, or Aye, you perhaps trust him? Uh, uh, yeah, if you do have a little bit of extra gold, actually, he throw he tosses you one extra gold piece. If you could, if there's a painter around the area, I'd like uh, to see how much they've grown in the past few years. If you could get oh, a portrait okay. of my mom <laughs> and my little brother. Oh, Aww, sure thing. Perhaps send it back to me. Alright. Perfect. Oh, and uh, he, he leans in. Don't mind me, Dad. He's, uh, he's a little bit racist. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, what, to, to all? We'll, uh, Not dragon? We'll cross, we'll cross that bridge. Uh, he's, from, uh, he's from uh, older world dragon belief. He's, uh, you know, high and mighty. Doesn't think those transforming into dragons are true bloods. Just don't pay him any mind. Oh. <laughs> Right. Interesting. Let's give him like the cold shoulder where we talk to his wife a lot and I give her a hug and a kiss and we don't say anything to him. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure to give him looks and a wink when I hug his wife. <laughs> we can strategize more when we survey the terrain. We can yes, harass okay. a racist later. <laughs> We're putting but in yeah, more planning to dealing with the racist death <laughs> than we did to fighting the dragon. I <laughs> <laughs> right, um, um, wanted to apologize uh, ahead of time. He's, uh, he's from a different place, as it were. Mm -hmm. Fair point. Delivered to many types, do not worry. <laughs> but thank you so much. I owe you a lot, pilgrims. Well, yeah, it's, it's no problem. We're, uh, we gotta be heading out now. We've got some things to... To deal with, um, Koriak, if you if you don't mind, if you could just let the um, the head of the farm know that I'm not going to be picking up any shifts um, for the near future, and uh, obviously, I'm sure he knows that I or he or she knows that I got this going on. I uh, of course, no problem at all. Best of luck out there, friend, and thank you. All right, one task down. <laughs> Question Halfway about the accepted. money. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Are we just gonna? How are we gonna split this? Because they've given me ten gold. I'm gonna keep the one to pay the pain. No, they out. they gave uh, word ten gold. Word ten they gold. They gave you one. Word, you stole my. Well, word, <laughs> word was the one asking for the ten gold, or asking for oh, money, yeah. and he he handed it over ten gold to word. I gave word. everybody. Gave. I gave everybody two gold. Oh, okay. So we okay, get two, you. and word I was gets about four. To fight you, word. <laughs> just, <laughs> Fritz just turns to you and goes. My gold. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna hand Fritz my two gold. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'll hand it. Fritz my two gold because I only have four. Now. So, uh, oh, considering okay. the two from your share, the two from Lara's share, and the one extra, you have you gained five. Oh, Pog. Uh, make that seven. I'll give you. I'll give you mine because technically I owe you now forty-eight gold. Uh, <laughs> I forget Wait, how much gold I owe you. Forty-eight gold and a bunch of candy. I think no. I think I owe you. 15 gold? I, I forget how much money you lent me to buy the coin. I completely you forgot that you owed me money. Thank you for reminding me. I mean, uh, this is just because I feel like giving it to you. What an honest gambler. <laughs> oh, incredible. All right. Should we go back to the rest of town? Yes. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I, think, I think we're, we're going to the <clears throat> drow house. Yeah. The Drow, uh, drow House. house. Okay. Drow the Drow House. house. Torellin's House. And uh, Buck, you know the way pretty well. So, because you, you know, he's an old friend of yours. Uh, and mm -hmm. You know Torellin's place. And you. Do, 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 let me just prepare real quick. Give me 
My bookie bestie, Terrellin. Every time you mention books, that whole conversation comes back to my brain again. <laughs> how, like, none of us, how, like, everyone can't read in the party? Or, like, we doesn't want, read. doesn't choose like, to read? What's the point? It's a waste of our valuable time. So, you guys <laughs> enter. Are, are you guys entering the house, or are you just, like, outside of it? I, I think, I think let's yeah. start by scoping out the outside. So, Stake scoping out. out the outside, you can see that it is mostly empty. It seems as you can make the, mm. the plausible presumption that Torellan sold all his belongings before he left town. Oh. But not Dang it. every not every single thing. It's, there are a few pieces of furniture, and inside you can see an orcish woman rearranging some furniture, putting things here and there. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. If, if we're gonna, I mean, if we're gonna do this, if this woman can control the blot, I mean, I don't exactly understand what our strategy is here. I mean, Lyra, you're you're sort of, the, you gotta be the expert about the blot in this group, right? I mean, what do you think? This is the first I've heard of anyone being able to control the blot, but I don't think we should assume that this woman is that wizard. Yeah, and I think we're we safe because there isn't any blot in that room. We will also have a roof over us, which might yeah. impede Bloodstorm we'll, we'll if worst fine. comes to worst. We could simply just looking, being concerned friends looking for our friends, Smile. Oh yeah, how do we want it? <laughs> do we yeah. have any sort of game plan here? Like, do we intimidate her? Do we knock on the door, pretend to know the guy that used to live here? Buck, perhaps you could knock? You have yeah, the best I mean, reason to be at this house. Do you, mm -hmm. I, that's fine with me. I mean, I can try to, I can say that I'm looking for tea, but uh, are you all, you you all just coming with me or does someone I want will to hide hang inside back? of your poncho. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, Can I like climb up his back could. to where my tail is just hanging down? It looks like his tail. Yeah, I don't understand the benefit of this, but if you just think piggybacking, <laughs> yeah, kitty. Yeah, All right, I'll let him hide. Yeah, him give me. Wow, uh, bugbears are bulkier than I remember. Give me a combined from both of you stealth check. Oh okay. gosh, that's not gonna be helpful. Uh, stealth, 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 stealth. Seventeen mm. and a ten. Okay, yeah. that's not too bad. <laughs> All right, you climb into the, his poncho, just like hanging in there. Yeah. Just <laughs> stop. Uh, just be still. Your, your nails are. I got I gotta get situated. Me. Ow. Just, okay. Well, right, I'd fall off if I wasn't using them. Hold still. Just grab onto the. There, I have a strap. Just grab on from the inside. Uh, from in there. If I turn around, I'll. <laughs> I, grab the strap. I do that thing where I like hold the the like the the collar open so I can like look down through the poncho at him and I say, "Word, I I'm just gonna say this before this starts. I don't understand why we're doing this." <laughs> Is he on the front or the back? I'm on the back. Oh, I, oh, I oh, thought you were on the back. I'll leave. Yeah, I'll no, oh, it I, just looks like you have I, a fat little dragon tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the untrained <laughs> eye, it looks like you just you just have a hunchback, but. Uh, <laughs> No one would really pay you any the wiser. There are weird. There have been weird uh, stranger shapes that have come into Satya. No one would, a well would give you a machine. second look, really. Maybe, maybe sh the person inside will feel more comfortable if they think they're only dealing. They're not dealing with too many. So I don't know if Lara or Fritz, if you want to hide back, or if you also have some sort of trick where you can hide somewhere on my person. But otherwise, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up with a uh, word. We can and... hang back a little bit, make it less Ooh, obvious that we're here. Lyra. You wanna you wanna sit on the roof with me? Certainly. <laughs> cool. I'll like I'll like fly up and then when I'm there, I'll like pull them up. Thank you. Okay, so um the the housing situation is kinda like those uh houses along a road that are just like kind of like wall to wall next to each other. Mm. Um mm -hmm. but you are able to reach the roof because it is a very hilly town. So of course there's plenty of just like natural area to climb up. I am going to bring you to a map <gasps> to situate you, you know, where, where you're, you are and all that stuff. Just to give you a lay of the land. There are a few people outside as well. You can see the bottom there is the road, kind of like a, a pavement road for people to walk on with a few plants and trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've placed you where you can abstract a, a roof where there would be. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Before, I love before the you guys, idea that you're having you, a conversation, which is <laughs> hanging over the doorway, waiting. <laughs> before, before you guys, before they go, I'll say to you: if I say the 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 key word ambush, then you guys come down and and help me fight this woman if that is necessary. That is very subtle. I like yes. that one. Yes. 
Oh boy. I'll scream the word ambush. It'll be. Uh, it won't be very <laughs> subtle. <laughs> um, that does seem I'll... like the most efficient way to inform us of the plan. <laughs> It's quite yeah. efficient. Do we want to come up with a, a word to just get you guys in here without attacking her? Like, just to tell uh, you that everything's okay? Uh, Fruitcake. Fruitcake. All right, that's the plan. And then I'll start off towards the door, <laughs> and I'll knock, on the, I'll knock on the door. All right, you knock no on way. the door. <laughs> word. Yeah, no wait. Word. Oh, why am I on top? <laughs> Who goes to be on top? <laughs> Word's head is poking out, and it's my body <laughs> underneath. <laughs> <laughs> just unnecessarily doing like two kids in a church <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> to be frank, I don't think there's a reason for us to be doing the current thing we're doing, but it's fine. <laughs> so you knock, and uh, the orcish woman comes to answer the door, and she pulls it open. Uh, hello. Oh, good. Someone in this town knows how to knock. <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, miss. I was, uh, I tip my hat. I, 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 we, I mean, I were hoping to find, um, Terrell in here. Is, is T out? Are you watching his house for him? Or She puts one hand on his cheek. Oh, no, I haven't heard of any Terrell in. Not that I know, I don't know of any name by that. I'm sorry. I just moved in recently. R right, did, did, um, uh, I said uh, here I was, I was looking for T and I, Heard he, um, I heard he might have been heading out uh, away from Satya. He, he had mentioned something like that. Did, did someone sell you the house, or...? Oh, no, it was vacant, and, uh, you know, I asked around if, uh, if there was any owner of this house, and a few said that there was once a drow man, but he seemed to move out and sell all his things, so I decided to move in myself, and I'll be signing official papers of ownership very soon. Well, it's, it's, it's good to, you know, it's... You gotta take what's yours, and you gotta move quick. So it's 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 good. We're gonna have a a, a nice person here in town. Can I do an um, insight check, please, while we're listening in on this? You most certainly can. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can I also gotcha. roll in? I, I want to see the outside. Hey, that's not bad. Can I? Am I allowed to do an insight? You most certainly can. Yeah, you can like see through the window and like hear her with an earshot, like listening in. Oh, there's a window. Yeah, there are windows in houses. Whoa. Yeah, so listening in, <laughs> you guys hear like the slightest of sarcasm in her voice and a little bit of joy as well. Whatever she's saying, she seems to be playing it up a little bit. Hmm. The thing about it is, is um, I, the reason I came here was because I actually left something in the house. Um, <laughs> do you mind if I step inside just to see if T may have gotten rid of that or, or sold it? Give me a persuasion it, it check. Oh, boy. Uh, it's not going to be... Ah, oh God, do I roll the... You want to flip the coin? <sighs> <sighs> I really do want to flip the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of want to flip the coin. <laughs> <laughs> of course you want to flip the coin. You haven't had any failures yet. Oh, oh baby, oh, it had to no. happen eventually. Yeah. Oof. She leans in and whispers, like, right in your ear, I know why you're here. So why don't we cut the bullshit and bring your friends in and we can have a civil conversation about this. Is, um, is this going to be an actual civil conversation or do you <laughs> intend to, uh, uh, try and make a big mess out of Torellin's house? She leans in to, like, grab you by the scruff of your neck and pull you Whoa. closer. <laughs> I mean this sincerely. That entirely depends on you. It's your choice, friend. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Fruitcake. <laughs> I, I, well, just like, I guess I just climb down like, oh, hello. She lets yeah. go and walks back <laughs> into the house and goes to sit on the bed. Fritz, wait, Fritz. I, oh, Before you, you scooch need down, help? I... I know I would like to wild shape into a squirrel and just nestle on your shoulder oh, okay. uh, so I look okay. like your animal companion and nobody is suspicious. Does she know oh. that word is, is in, <laughs> inside my poncho? Uh, she hasn't pointed it out. From what you can tell, it doesn't seem like she has suspected word. Heck well, yeah, the ruse is still up. I guess they're about to roll <laughs> if they perfect. suspect Lyra. <laughs> I'm just a hand, uh, an animal companion just hanging out on your shoulder. <laughs> And I just have a hunchback. There's only two of us here, me and my friend Fritz. 
<laughs> and you can see here. Let me show you the portrait. Yes. <laughs> there she is. Hey, oh. you got a better look at her. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> her hair is messy, which means she definitely is a witch. Hmm. It's like not that purple. messy. She's got a little plait. Yeah, but it's all frayed and frizzy. Like she's been messing with the weather or something superhuman. I can or fix moving her. furniture all day. <laughs> no, listen, listen. I can fix her, okay? <laughs> I close the door behind Fritz and the squirrel. <laughs> Making she, making sure not to like reveal my back too much. Just to, of like, course. I'm backing I'm backing up to close the door. Well, we are masters of disguise and truly the best qualified <laughs> people to take on this quest about most importance. Also, Layra, since you are here. a sneaky squirrel, I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check as well. Oh god. All right, cool. What do I got? Plus zero. Delicious. I don't suppose being a squirrel gives me a benefit on this. I don't know actually. It, it might. Hold on. Oh yeah. I'm pretty what sure wild stats? shape you get you gain the stats of the thing you wild shape into. Yeah, that's why it would be really nice if D&D automatically provided me a list of those things uh-huh. and yeah, yeah, stats, yeah. but it uh, doesn't do that. A squirrel has plus 1 dexterity, so you would have plus 1. Awesome. Heck I'll just yeah, roll it man. straight and then we can add plus 1 in post. Yeah. Hey-ya! Nice. 8. Ooh. Hey. hey, hey. So, you are <laughs> I kind worse. of skittering around trying to hide around Fritz, but you get the you get the feeling that you're not hard to spot. I'm, well, I'm not trying to not appear to be here. Oh, I'm just okay, trying to look mind. inconspicuous. Yeah. My, my mistake. My mistake. She's I'll a ranger. Rangers have animal companions sometimes. This yeah. is completely normal. I'm yeah. just giving her a very judgmental stare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just on my shoulder. <laughs> she leans back in the bed, uh, sitting on it, and crosses her arms and looks at you, Buck and Fritz. So, what are you here for? Well, Do you want me to um, go for which one of you, us are better at the whole talking thing here? You can go ahead. I, I would assume it's you, but we <laughs> we can talk together. We okay. had heard a, that um, Torellin was in touch with someone who had orchestrated that whole blot business at the uh, tournament. She uh, kind of chuckles a little bit with a, a sly smile and kind of looking at her hand, kind of putting it back and forth. Yes, that would be quite the impressive thing for someone to do, wouldn't it? Happen to know anything about that? Hmm. She leans in close. You can tell she's she's trying to get a read on you. And what is it to you? Oh, (laughs) can I snap a little? Insight check. Can I do an insight check? You most I really can. want to know if this lady's jerking us around. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm mess with that. Am I, am I allowed Fritz to say something? Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, you're can allowed to say like... something, Fritz. You don't really learn much, Leira. She's, whatever she's got going on, she's able to keep a pretty well good poker face. Why do people have to make all these things complicated? What is it to us? I mean, you have a lot of people to answer to what it is. Do you know how many people are at that stadium? I do. Did you know the consequences that would come across with it? Well, I was hoping that Drow Man would understand that before he asked me to do him a favor. You don't seem like a very good read of people, so I <laughs> don't know how productive this conversation's going to be if your attitude's going to be like that. Ooh. Saying that, she just shakes her head. All right, fine. I did summon the blot. And yet, nobody got hurt as is that drow's instructions. I did make them harmless as possible. I only- But not entirely harmless. Because of us. She shrugs her shoulders a little bit and shakes her head, if that's what you wish to believe. I would like to change back. (laughs) Um. (laughs) (laughs) How do you command the blot? Nobody's commanded the blot. She uh, smiles a little bit, puts one hand to her chin. Now that's the question, isn't it? And yes! I would, I would be happy to give you that information, but I ask for a bargain. And why exactly should we bargain with you? Because I've made the magical discovery of a lifetime, and that information might be useful to you as well as everybody else in the realm. But in order to make that discovery, I had to do something that no doubt would land me in a jail cell for the rest of my life. 
then it sounds like you're in no position to make demands. <laughs> ah, you say that. But you turn me in, and that new information, that discovery, dies with me. I doubt you're so special that nobody could reproduce your results. <gasps> she leans in. Well, then I hope you're ready to take that chance. Buck be good cop. I was just about to say we're doing... Oh, oh, la ladies, hold on one second. I, I think we're maybe getting off on the wrong foot here. We're here in a, in a, in a, a disgraced bookie's home who's been driven out of this town. Let's, let's look at things the way that they're supposed to be. What, is that, what exactly is this bargain? Before we, and I look at Lyra, before we reject it, what, what, let's just hear the bargain first. I'd like to know what cards we're playing with. Ah, finally. Someone who is reasonable. Ooh. Good cop, bad cop's working. <laughs> <laughs> Go team. High five. <laughs> and soon, invisible cop who's underneath good cop will, will, will come out. The I'm wild card. Good Snappy cop and bad cop are nothing to <laughs> undercover cop. <laughs> I'm the undercover, undercover cop, cop and I can quickly become the stabby cop. <laughs> yeah, stab cop. Stab cop. Baddest cop. <laughs> She closes her eyes a little bit. I crave a promise. I give you information on what I've learned about the blot, all I've learned. And in return, you never speak of my involvement in its summoning to anyone in attempts to use it against me. Hmm. Would that include all notes and research? She shakes her head a little bit. I intend on casting a hex on you to make sure Whatever it is you wish to do with that information, as long as it doesn't involve me, you are free to do as you wish. Okay. But make no yeah, mistake, I am no gin. I won't be pulling a fast one on you. Hmm. That's what I was just about to ask. I suppose Can't this hex won't prevent us from intervening if you try and pull this stunt again. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, counter-argument. She flicks her hand a little bit. Oh, posh, it takes intentions into account. You could still have good intentions and summon the blot. I... Look, I want to trust you, right? You're giving a very good whole reason of things, but... You... Your negligence of just handing it out to a beggar, someone who didn't have a good reason to really want the blot, to just do it willy-nilly and put people in danger, is making it very hard to trust you right now. No matter how brilliant your mind might be or your research, I'm a bit hesitant, you could say. Well, if I could provide my own perspective, I'm simply trying to make my way throughout the world. And if a man is willing to offer me some sort of payment, who am I to deny it? For something so dangerous? And she looks around at this new living quarters. Well, it did get me a house, didn't it? Touche. Can't argue with that one. <laughs> the nature of this hex, it will only prevent us from implicating you directly. She nods. And what are you going to do if, let's say we go through with this and we take the hex, are you going to stay in Satya, just stay in a T's house for the remainder of your time here? Well, that's not really your concern now, is it? Nor is it part of the deal. <laughs> May not be part of the deal, but it's still part of my concern and could definitely weigh into whether or not we accept. Give me another persuasion. <sighs> Feeling lucky. Oh, I can roll it. Come on. Daddy needs a new parachute. Oh, that was a d20. That's okay. What's your charisma <laughs> modifier? Oh, sorry. I was going to roll the... I was going to try and roll the... the uh, oh. What's it called? The, the, the coin. coin. The coin. Yeah. Uh, I did D2. It's fine. If you want to do the 15. Let's do the 15. I mean, just, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't add anything to persuasion. You don't add anything. So just okay. 15. Correct. With a 15, she just sighs a little bit. Fine. I've been struggling while on the road, and seeing that this place seems to have fairly regular business, I thought I'd have to do some less dangerous work for a change. And finding a place to stay is the perfect way to open up shop and do some ethical weather. Hmm. hmm. You might be onto something. You know, the dock can't always bring things in because of storms. 
exactly where my services would be demanded. So it'd be purely no blot <laughs> services, <laughs> correct? Can, can can we um the three of us can we just sort of confer for we we like to make decisions as a group. Would would you mind just granting us a, a brief respite? She turns Ooh. ever so slightly in the bed. I've got time. Go over here. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Fritz, there, come on. What do we think? I I just want to make sure she doesn't do the blot again. If she has genuine wants of helping out the dock, I'm all down. Investment in the safety of the town is one thing. She seems very self-motivated. Hmm. That's fair, but we're also going to be out of this this town real soon. I mean, I've been to Trevisetta. I mean, the, if we get far enough out, the blot can be really dangerous. Having some amount of information could be helpful. And especially to, to to everybody if she's if she's got some way to control it, right? Mm -hmm. Yet if we leave the town harboring her unknown, we won't be here to help. Why don't we write up a contract? Uh, hmm. I think it's part of the bargain is essentially the contract. Okay. I well, may be able to out. warn what my mentor that the weather witch is in this town, even if I cannot name her. Mm. The hex may be limited. I've never considered myself a protector of this town. Lyra, I trust your decision on what it is you want to do. And I don't know if my if my back feels anything about the situation. <laughs> my back might be acting up <laughs> if they have something... I'm like, listen, I'm like, does yeah. work do it? <laughs> Can you do hey, anything to it, I just like sink one of my fingers into your back, just like acknowledging that you're trying to talk to me, but I don't, I don't want to get discovered because if she does uh, okay, cast this yeah. hex on targets, <gasps> I'm going to fuck her up. Yes. <clears throat> That's actually brilliant. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean. Nope, nothing going Lyra, on with my What your concerns are with just, uh, do you have concerns just with the blot or? <sighs> The blot poses an existential threat, and we mm -hmm. don't know anything about it. Or at least, certainly not enough. Her information is invaluable, but I don't trust her to use it responsibly, and I don't like leaving the city undefended. Why don't we just ask her to not do the blot? <laughs> She'll only listen for until a better offer comes along. Not if we make it a part of the hex. I think she's hexing us. I don't think we get yeah, to hex but her she, back. She can hex her. Yeah, we can hex her back. Can we? I can't hex I mean, people. She can cast one on herself, can't she? I don't. I'll admit I'm not exactly an expert on the nature of magical hexes. It, I don't believe it, a legally binding contract with herself is going to <laughs> particularly. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, and here's here's another thing that I just would like to say. I mean, we can just jump this woman. If we really, I'm just, I would throwing it out there that if we really wanted to, I mean, I, I have no, no problem putting her in jail for what she did, or at least trying to beat her up. Then we won't have the information. But I know that, but I'm just, I'm just looking at all of our, our options here. I think. I would not um, be so confident that that is an option. Mm. Mm -hmm. She okay, can't control okay. the blot, huh? She can control uh -huh. the blot. Essentially, the whole town is a hostage, if we attempt to. So yeah. maybe it's best to be to play it close to the chest and just take the hex and get what information we can? Hmm. Can I ask her a couple of questions? I want to see <laughs> if I can work out a little bit of her motivation. Is that alright? Yes. Sh yeah. Alright, I'll like shuffle over. I'll stay. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> they're, uh, they're still discussing, but I, I just want to get a read on you. Uh, <laughs> you, you've been on the road a lot, right? I have. Is this your first time having a home? Hmm. First in a very long time, perhaps. You would say you don't want to go back to the road, right? Not at least for a while. It does bring with it its own discoveries. You learn things from different cultures, and I do like the scent of air flowing through my hair. Hmm. So we can, we can relate on some point here. We both didn't have homes. Um... No, you can understand. This is where we've grown up. When this is your home, you want to protect it. 
As someone who has been on the road to someone else who's been on the road, do you want to keep this place and keep it nice? Well, so long as I'm staying here, that would make it my home, now wouldn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. And we don't want to dirty our own carpet, do we? Of course not. That's why I'm putting all this furniture here, rearranging it, making it feel homely. Why would I want to set my own house aflame? That is fair. Can I roll insight to see if she's being Yep, yes. you most certainly yes. can. <laughs> okay. Da, da, da. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. So, looking at it, you can tell that she is someone who has weight in her words. Whenever she says the word home, you can see that it carries with a very significant amount of emotion that... Uh, Especially when she's looking around, she does seem genuinely proud about being in, like, an actual house. Mm. From what you can tell, it doesn't seem like she has much ill intent where she is. Okay, then I guess I'll, I'll just, like, look at her and give her a bit more of a, like, a sweeter, softer smile, and I go back to my group. She seems to see this as an actual home. Like, I, I share, like, my conversation with them. Mm. Once I don't again, like I... this, but the only thing that makes her dangerous is that she's the only one who we've ever known to be able to command the blot. If she shares her information, that might change. I'm willing mm-hmm. to do this. And yeah, I, uh, the information's so valuable. Yes, that if she's willing to to play her part in the workings of this town, and if nobody knows that she's here, to try and exploit her abilities. Mm. There are worse deals that we could be striking. Mm-hmm. I don't like it, but it's the right thing to do, I think. Mm. That's, that's all I need. Yep, that's all I need to hear. And I don't know, just me here. Um, let's go. Let's go over. <laughs> she doesn't know the words. <laughs> Hide. So then, what is your decision? We'd like to, and I think I'm speaking for everyone here, like to, we accept the hex for the information. Very well. And are there any other instances that you would like to add to the deal? Just so that you get your end of the bargain, of course. I know how to make deals, and I know when people want it sweetened for them when I see it. Can you make it so only you don't share this again? That, that the information um, only passes between yeah. us? I don't... Mm-hmm. For it's that... Mm. Well, hold on. I would still sweeten it for you. Information only between us. Don't share it with others. And I can try to pull some strings to make sure you have a stable job at the dock. Constantly. Yes, I have a, I have a question when it comes yeah. to the nature of the Hex. My mentor, Shemaya, is the druid who manages much of the workings of the nature around this town. You might find some work to be had with her. Will the Hex prevent me from pointing her in your direction for the purposes of honest work? She waves her hand around. You don't need to worry. There's not going to be any technicalities or loopholes that will stop you from good intentions such as that. Very well. And she holds up one hand, just like... And I promise I will not summon the blot again. Cross my heart. Mm. I simply saw this as an opportunity to learn something. (sighs) She's got big wizard vibes I don't trust. (laughs) Well, how do we do this? So how do we do this hex thing? I'm ready to... I'm glad you asked. She gets up, claps her hands twice, and an arcane circle appears right below you. Hmm. Oh, sick nasty. You just have that ready. Cool. (laughs) And she steps on it. Go on, into the circle. And as she conjures it, she, she, uh, her eyes perk up a bit. Oh, there are four of you. Uh, I slide down and step out of the circle. (laughs) Can you sneak? Can you sneak out? (laughs) Yeah. Well, she she knows that I'm here now. I would have done that when she was starting the circle. Is that at all an option? Uh, The door is right behind you. Stealth check. (laughs) Okay. I am going to use my ring. What's the DC? The DC for a successful stealth check to avoid her gaze would be 19. 
Oh, okay. baby. Oh. Ooh, so close. Uh. Okay. Yep. Well. So I, I slip away, but I know that now that I've been caught. <clears throat> yep. She she says mm. the phrase. Oh, there are four of you. I'm not doing this. Ooh. You put my family in danger. That's not something I can forgive. And I pull out a dagger. Whoa! Mm. Oh boy. Give me an intimidation. Okay. Cool. 14. 13. Lucky 13. She smiles a little bit. Ah, wearing a heart on our sleeve. I respect that. Very well. I assume you have wishes that you want as well. I can sweeten the deal. Anything you would like to impose on me? Death. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, well, that's what? not in my schedule, sadly. Mm. We'll have to make some room, then. Word. And I would like to attack her. Wait, Word. Let, before oh. you do. So, okay. considering that this is a... Mm, Minor is a divisive moment. Yeah. Yes, it is a mm -hmm. divisive moment as three of the party decides to go with the deal mm -hmm. to you. Do you want to hash this out? In, yeah, well, uh, because right. you yeah, guys yeah, yeah. like let this. I don't out. want because, one thing to yeah. conflict with another player's wishes. Yeah, no, genuinely, this is something that I think would be very fitting because word is entirely yeah. about his his little culture of underground people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. put them in danger yes. already, which means she has the ability to do that again, and she plays her cards too well to be someone who can actually make a promise. Right, right, right. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I, I understand the logic. Um, I... The I, thing is, I think I think party decision, we, we do mm -hmm. want to do... We want the information about the blot. Um, we want yeah. her as an ally we can use in the future if things come to a head mm -hmm. at any point uh, because she does seem extremely knowledgeable about stuff even though, you know... <laughs> Yeah. Lair is very unhappy with her. Uh, I, I, I don't think Word feels comfortable like having her in his home with his people nearby. Mm -hmm. That's like letting a wolf sit next to your pups. Right. Um, I think if we could, if we could, I mean, she's offering to sweeten the deal a lot. Mm -hmm. um, would Word be happy if, for instance, uh, she uh, swore to never harm any of the kobolds in this town or, you know, something like that? Well, uh, what, well, what would convince Word, though? She can right, say yeah. that, yeah. but what would mm -hmm. convince Word? She didn't... She, yeah, she did say she wasn't going to... Um... She did say that she wouldn't summon the blot again, but yeah. it's up to yeah. you guys if you wish to believe that. I mean, full disclosure, I'm going to go and tell Shamaya, like, by the way, there's a yeah. new powerful well, mm -hmm. weather-themed spellcaster in town. You should totally go talk to her anytime there's weather in the, you know. So, like, I'm going to get that information to her as somebody mm -hmm. to okay. keep an eye on. Not not even with the intent of, like, don't trust her, mm -hmm. but, like, genuinely, like, hey, this is important. You should know because, you know, this is your whole job. Yeah. Uh, so she's not going to be unsupervised. Okay. Uh, can also, she's I, new in town. I think, you know, mm -hmm. this is a pretty small town. Everyone kind of seems to know everybody else. Yeah. You know. So, what if I okay. pull the curtain back a bit and reveal mm -hmm. the uh, the outcome of either decision? Would that would you guys cool. be okay with that to help you make the decision? Um, That's it's more like funny. just how the situation itself plays out. How uh, it yeah, plays I out, rather. She, yes, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mainly find a play something uh, Word's character would be happy with. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. This is a <laughs> difficult thing, but I like that you're sticking to your character, for sure. And I, I agree, I appreciate yeah. you being diplomatic about this as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, <laughs> diplomatic. I don't want to just piss everyone off and do the thing that my character would do. For sure, do, because you're a good like, player. Yeah. You guys can actively like try and stop me, but uh, yeah. while I'm in this standoff, can I make a sleight of hand ch uh, check to write a note saying that she is the weather witch like that she calls the blot yeah you can I ha okay uh so in terms of okay. just what what we would be doing if word makes a move to attack her my plan was to Oof. fire off my last okay. first level spell as an entangle not to keep mm. him in the circles just to like basically stop word from doing that yeah so he's out of the circle so we have time to that negotiate really and nobody good. gets stabbed while he's entangled he could probably do the sneakily writing while we're negotiating and 
Runesmith, would you be okay with that happening? Yes. Yeah, so you're going to stop me with Entangle? That's what I was thinking. Would you want um, me like to enter the circle? Because no, Lord would be charging at her. No? I would want to entangle you as soon as... I don't want to lock you into the circle, because okay. I feel like that would be the worst thing that for Lord. Yeah, really yeah. yeah okay. I would want to grab you as soon as it looked like you were, you know, leaping in. So just like okay. entangle you uh, out of the circle so that we can negotiate kind of on level footing, sort of. Nobody's stabbing anybody, but you're not in her magical effect. Um, if that's okay... Yeah, that, that would be my. Let's move. go ahead and do that, and I, I think I'll auto fail just for narrative purposes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. So, word, you brandish your dagger. You're about to leap mm -hmm. in, and then, Lyra, you pull the entangle to keep him at his place, and you can see yeah. that the orcish woman is very entertained by this. Of course she is. <laughs> and she puts one hand on her cheek. I can see when I'm not welcome. Do you know how many of my people you put in danger? Hmm. As I said. They were bound to my will, and I willed them to not harm anyone. You can believe that or not. But if you wish... We did all see the dragon when he came back from fighting them. He wasn't exactly uninjured, so I don't believe you. Hmm. Well, I you believe that your control over the blood is imperfect. I think you're tampering with something you can't actually control. Well, then you can forgive me for falling off the first time I ride a bike. Hmm? Yeah, this is definitely the, equatable to that. This, that was the first time you tried to control the blot? It was, yes. Big scale experiment. But I can tell Word. that I'm not welcome here. If you wish, no hex can be made, and I'll leave town forever. You haven't exactly done much to earn a hero's welcome but we can discuss. Word, she's offered to sweeten the deal. What would you ask of her? Word? That she never harms a kobold in any way. She puts one anything? hand to her heart and l lowers her head, closes her eyes. I swear on my life. You better. And I'll kind of, I, I did do the sleight of hand thing. I yes, got an 11. you wrote, wrote a little note. Yeah, I wrote a little note. I will right. um, use my dagger to kind of cut through the, the entangle yeah. and step into the circle. She holds up her hand. Entangle. You know what? I like you. A show of good faith. You don't have to be hex, little kobold. Hmm. Trust Perfect. goes both ways, after all. I suppose it does. Very well. And know that when you break my trust, I break other things. <laughs> and I expect a veritable army of little ones to come at my door if I do. Good. And I just lean up against the wall, kind of tossing the dagger. Perfect. Very nicely played. <laughs> Great work, team. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. <laughs> so... She snaps her fingers, and the arcane circle glows bright. And she kind of weaves around her hands as if painting a picture. Definitely a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making specifications so that you aren't so scared of technicalities. The hex can tell your intentions, and so long as you keep your secrets, you should be fine. And the circle vanishes and you three glow very dim pink before it goes away very well then so long as you don't speak of my involvement with the blot with the intentions of giving me any trouble you all should remain your happy little selves and what happens if the hex is activated well let's just say you'll be joining a very large and happy fungal family i hear alinthi is rich in toadstools Interesting. And now for my part of the deal. The man had asked me such a stupid request after learning of my trade that I nearly cursed him then and there at the mere mention of it until I had to think about it. I noticed that the arcane signature of the blot was eerily similar to this artifact I had found in one of Alinthi's old abandoned ruins, and she pulls out a broken, rusted bracer of some kind lined with a bunch of carvings and 
just like so old and decrepit to the point you could probably crush it in your bare hand. <laughs> huh. Well, I was just going to ask, like, any of us good at history? Yeah, um, if you would like, you can uh, give me a history score, not roll for it. Just like, if uh, you, just a passive history score. Ooh, well, my history plus is only three. plus one. Uh, mm-hmm. Minus yeah. one. Minus <laughs> one. Fritz, word? I, I just plus zero. Plus zero, word? <laughs> Oh, uh, in the notebook history? learning yeah. squad. <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't history. <laughs> so with uh. a plus plus one to history, you know the very basis thing that you've learned is that uh, Elinthi is built off uh, kind of the remnants of an old, long lost civilization that nobody really knows the name to anymore. Um, even older wow. than old Diosia, the place, the the kingdom that was once here before it basically destroyed itself. But yeah, this is this does track at least with the history books that you've learned that there was some kind of ancient royalty some thousand years ago that used to be here before you. I see. Remnants of a lost civilization, but then why was it so similar to the plot? Perhaps they were part of the lost civilization of some kind. And so I chipped off a piece, used it as a component, cast control weather with a dash of necromancy, and there it was. I got a small amount of blot to appear before me, just as all of Elinthi- You created it? Hmm, more like called it. It seemed like the blot was already there. I simply needed to corral it, as it were. Huh. Huh. Just as, just as all of Elinthi's best mages has already learned, though, there were no life signs in this blot. Just a soulless husk, even less than a reanimated corpse, which itself is already bound to the will of whoever raised it, so... Whose will is the blot bound to, I wonder? Evidently not yours, not entirely. And clearly not, considering I botched that whole summoning. It's got to be an extension of someone somewhere who's causing everybody a lot of problems. Hmm. Daring and smart. <laughs> I found the new crack ship, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Your compliments. And what that is, is the what rarity? I've learned. Most, most think that it's not a necromancy, and I still believe that it's not. But there is some hint of it deep inside somewhere. What is the rarity of this arcane signature? Is it present in all the ruins, or...? I believe it seems to be in these pieces of jewelry. Perhaps some kind of royal lineage, long lost, in ancient blood. It doesn't seem to be taken into account whenever I pull some... S- some odd peasant's cloth of some kind. But this bracer, for instance, must be some royalty of some kind. Concerning. And so any thoughts on what we should be on the lookout for in terms of defeating these things or learning about them on the way around the Linthi? She puts her hands on her hips. Well, if I were you, if the first place I would check to learn more about this ancient civilization and its connection to the blot would be delving into some of those ruins. But I'm not you, so I don't have to do that. (laughs) The blot possesses a will. Otherwise, you would have no difficulty in commanding it. That is true. That's very concerning. All right, is that the extent of your research? Very much so. I do have one pointer. Of all the places in Alinthi that have the most arcane knowledge, a gunan is never missing for a page on the subjects that you're looking for. But if you do go there, and you possibly are, considering you are pilgrims, I would try my best to look in the restricted section. There are things even the kingdom of Alinthi wishes to keep secret. This is, uh... What compelled you to even look into this? Simply see if I could. That would make me one of the more powerful mages on this continent, wouldn't it? And, besides, it was a good bargaining chip. (laughs) She points again to the house. (laughs) It's a nice house. I couldn't resist the challenge. It's a nice house and a nice neighborhood. Mm Mm-hmm. 
You know how much they nice sell for cobalt. these days? Yeah. Like. <laughs> All right. To the best of your knowledge, is there anyone else who's figured out this this tidbit, this key to the blood? She shakes her head. She actually looks frustrated. Sadly, no. Otherwise, I would love to have a lengthy conversation with them. Hmm. Very well. If our business is concluded. I think it is. I hope you safe travels, pilgrims. And I, I do mean that an, genuinely. And I hope your stay is uneventful. I'm gonna head for the door. <laughs> uh, make sure to register your address at the docks uh, <laughs> I, so I can deliver your mail. I, it's really annoying when they don't do that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> just like a little sheepish. Like, oh, <laughs> boy. Please get that done. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. And do bid Lady Luck my thanks, will you? What did she mean by that? Can I roll <laughs> insight on when she said that? You can roll insight on what she meant by that. <laughs> she personally knows Lady Luck. Uh, whatever you can glean from it as, like, a player, that's probably what Buck is figuring. <laughs> Interesting. The, what a good way to, to narrate a 10 mm -hmm. there, Mr. Yeah. Joe Cat. Uh, uh, <laughs> very middling answer there. Um, I'll exit. I'll, I'll, I'll do a double take and then just kind of shake it off and walk outside. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, all the way out without looking back. And back to Satya we go. Yeah. And yes, you have completed the encounter with the Weather Witch. Where else do you wish to go before you, uh, or just, I don't know, where, what's next on the agenda? How do we feel I about spending one more night in town and then leaving tomorrow? Because we did kind of get our asses kicked a little bit during the dragon fight. Yes. And um, I yeah, I, I, um, I would like to rest as well. Um, so I don't we got to really talk to the Lord, too. Yeah, so perhaps we go see the Lord. Then we go back to our respective, you know, places Hobbles. for one yeah. more night, and then we leave tomorrow morning. Are you? Oh, right. uh, yeah. Let's let's go do that. I, I think that makes sense. Sorry. No worries. Do we want to talk to the royalty? Probably today. It's still yes. early. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's late like afternoon, maybe late afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Do we know what we're supposed to talk to this lord about, or... Um, uh, just get a Elias blessing. mentioned her helping you with the rest of preparation for your trip. Right, okay, so it's not that we're just going to turn up and be like, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe they give us, like, a per diem or something for each day, or I don't <laughs> What's know. What's a per diem? It's like a, they give you, a, a, like, a voucher for food or something like that. Like, they pay you money yeah. for each day, so you don't have to worry about food. You can worry about spending your money on other stuff. Yeah. I normally just like getting money, but I guess that works. Yeah, I mean, it's the money is supposed to be per food, for, but you could, I guess, spend it on other stuff if you didn't want to eat. But I don't think they're gonna do that. I just said, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe that's something they could. Let's go talk to them. Let's go. Let's start. All walking. right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit flustered. I feel like maybe the uh, the the hex might be causing some indigestion. I don't know. <laughs> it's a mental interference. Hmm. So, you guys head up the road to the city hall. You can see kind of at the top over here. It's a large official building the where building. you know the Lord rests as well as many other official things, including a barracks to the side where a lot of the guards kind of set up shop and kind mm -hmm. of a town meeting place, the bell tower right over here. Mm -hmm. And as you head inside, uh, you, pass uh, you pass by a handful of what look like some bickering business folk who are not mm -hmm. from this town kind of making their way out the main doors as you pass in. They seem a little bit upset of, about something. Huh. And inside the hall uh, is not Wait, exactly... Can, as, as we're going by, can I pick one of their pockets really quick? Yeah. Ooh, give me a sleight of hand <laughs> check. Yes. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> you, all right, let's see. You sneak a hand, <laughs> and you do manage to pull out a little coin purse, but then one of them notices, Oi! Hey, you, give that back! He, he just dropped it. I was I was handing it to him, and I, I like I put it back in the pocket and I like pat his waist and I keep walking. He snatches it out of your out of your hand and just like dirty suchins and swear. 
You could learn a thing yeah. too from Trevor Senna. Hmm. Yeah. From sure what? You could. Trevor Senna. Ah. Uh. Is the... Isn't that the neighboring one? No, that one's all the way on the other side of like the mainland, like too far west. All right, mm. I'm definitely mm. gonna do something somewhere when we get to Trevisetta. Oh, Enjoy yeah. the walk back, fellows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sachi <Satya> rules. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get in here before we cause a diplomatic incident again. <laughs> All right, you head inside, and in the hall, yeah, it's not exactly as spotless as you would imagine a, an official building would usually be. There's a few bits of grass and leaves from outside that's made its way in, some tracked in dirt, but it's clean enough. Uh, the place looks surprisingly lived in for like a, a lobby, and uh, there's a receptionist that notices you come in, recognizes you, and it's of elven descent, it seems like, and they lead you inside and escort you up the stairs to Lord Candela's office, which you are brought inside, and you see that there is a gnomish woman. Let's see, will it show hmm. players? There it is. Hey! Ah. <gasps> Smurf Nebulin? Smurf Nebulin. You Smurf see a gnomish woman dressed in silks and a fancy beret, and she's hunched over some papers behind a large desk with towers of papers on either side of her. She straightens up immediately at your entrance and seems to fix her hair a little bit before uh, addressing the receptionist. Thank you, Patrice. You may leave us. And the receptionist bows and leaves. The door clicks, and Lord Candela immediately drops, drops back into a slump. Ah, oh, fuck. I was hoping that you would take your time before you made it to me. Uh, congratulations on the win again. You are the hope of the realm, and may the tree bless you, and blah, blah, blah. You already heard all the rundown from Elias, no doubt. So uh, what do you need of me? I, I mean, once, what specifically? I had no idea that this whole time the Lord was a lady. You well, were. yes, of course. Lord is a gender-neutral term, is it not? I didn't were think so. How long have you lived in this town? I, I don't get out. Up here there that much. Neither do I. She, lives, lives, lives she waves her hand a little town. bit. No, it's okay. I don't get out that much often either. Look at me. I'm so pale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Elias directed us to you. Uh, general help. Yes. Oof. She, at uh, the mention, uh, she just like, just kind of shuffles around her desk, like moving papers around. Shit, shit, rotten roots. Where did I put that permission slip? Yeah. She throws a few papers off her desk in frustration and just like <laughs> throws her head in her hands. Uh, I'm sorry, the last few weeks have just been so much with the tournament and now you leaving. Every other peddler that comes in wants a piece of you. Not to mention all the pencil pushing I have to do to make sure that you maintain your independence in the other provinces on your pilgrimage. Uh, do you know that Trevisetta has had 50 new laws about using unsanctioned healing magic in the region? I oh. do not like Trevis Seta. Me neither. Um, Those <laughs> business folk can go fuck themselves. Yeah, I tried to make them. <laughs> they, they didn't. They were too smart. Uh, I Can I pick up some of the papers that she's put on the floor and I'm just like putting them in a nice like pile in my hand? She seems to calm down a little bit. Oh, thank you. You don't need to do that. Oh, my apologies. My problems should not be your problems. Many people will make that the case. They will shove their problems onto you just because you're pilgrims. But you have the choice whether to accept them or not. Don't forget that. The only right. thing that matters right now is you bringing the heart of uh, the hearts of Querens to Querencia, and making sure to not make Satya look bad in front of the other provinces. But honestly, besides Aguna, I think you have a very hard time doing that. Well, that's encouraging. No, oh, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> The folk in the other provinces, they are stuck so far up their own asses, I'm surprised they can smell anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like well, we, Lord. we appreciate you doing all that for it. It seems like you're working awfully hard for all of us, so we, we appreciate that. Um, are you able to, like, help us get over the... Um, over to the New Basque, yes, or yes, I think yes, that's of course, one of that and, and much more, of course. I, I'm just looking. She pulls a stray piece of parchment after giving up on what she was looking for and just writes a few notes plus her signature. Uh, this is a letter of recognition for you to bring to the merchants in town. They will provide you with whatever supplies they have on hand and readily available to give away, and I will make up the necessary funds that were needed in providing you with those supplies. I urge that you take only what you need and no more. Yes? 
And I have opened my coin purse for you, but it is not bottomless. Unlike Trevor Seta, we like to pay our people here, so I hope you can forgive me that I don't have a hoard of wealth. But I will help where I, where I can. Now, so like a per diem, or... Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. I, I give a thumbs up to word. <laughs> <laughs> and once you um, are finished and ready, you may head to the docks and Captain Dozin of the Nadoho Gear will take you across the waters to the mainland. I hear you and Miss Fritz are very good friends with him. Oh, yeah. Talking about saving, travel won't be a problem. <laughs> mm, very good. I do hope so. But yes, here's your permission slip. I'm sorry that I wish I had more time to converse with you, but I have so much going on right now. But I thank you for helping me where you can. Uh, sorry, I, I wish I had more foul, flowerly language to tell you good luck, but honestly, I'm at my wit's end here, so... Can I just no, I... give them a hug? Like, they sound like they need a hug. <laughs> you give... Yeah, you can. You give her a big <laughs> hug, and she just like... Oh, good mother tree. Ooh. And she just pats you. You can see that she's really shaky. And Fritz, you gain an inspiration for that. Oh, I don't know what that does, but thank you. That's the power <laughs> of love. <laughs> Honestly, well, uh, things were so much easier with, with the older lord around, but... Ugh. Mm. Well, we won't keep you from your duties any longer. Thank you so much for all your help and support. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you need of me? Any questions? Anything you wish to report to me? I know you being pilgrims will definitely flip your whole world upside down and <laughs> uh, have you learn a few new things, but if you wish is to there... keep that to yourself, that's completely okay. <laughs> Nothing that, that would currently concern you. Hmm. Did uh, my I have... goblin friend request something about a library or more books in the library? Oh, yeah. I, yes, uh, but you seem very busy, so... Uh. <laughs> ah, I'll add it to the list. More books in the library, and this was made a request from a goblin, yes? Uh, help, help me out. Does anyone remember? Uh, Jorbib. Jorbib, yes. Jorbib. What a memorable fellow he was. Uh, Jorbib. Jorbib. She just leans in. You can see her face immediately softens, and she puts her cheek on her on the palm of her hand. Oh, Aww. Jorbib. She uh -huh. immediately scratches out whatever she was writing. I will put it on the top of the list. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Uh, she Dude. notices you as like, kind of like, and she immediately goes from a blue to a purple. And she's, ah, uh, she, he and I are good friends. She, just good friends. He, he's, he's done me a few fra favors in the past and I just want to return some to him. That's all. Of course. He um, was saying actually that he would I mean if you're if it's going to the top of the list that he he was looking to kind of have a more direct role in any sort of advancements uh to the library so maybe you could include him in oh. whatever procedure you decide to have I'm sure he he he'd like to have a more active role in that. Oh yes. Yeah, yes. he's definitely the yeah. one that uh cares about books. Oh, yes, He's very yes, enthusiastic. yes, of course. And uh, I, well, considering it is the official library, I will definitely have to show him around as well and, and guide him through, yes. Of course, yes. <laughs> All right, um, I think we've taken up enough of your time. Shall we get out of here? Oh, she, I have, you I can have... see that she now has a smile on her face as she's writing down more things on the notes that she was writing, and she mouths the words thank you to you guys. Aww. I have one thing to, I have one thing to ask her. What's up? Um, do we, is there like a, um, like a contact in New Basquet that we should maybe go t Ooh, yes. for? Or are we just roaming around looking for this dragon? Ah, yes, of course. If you so wish, there is a knight of the lord of New Basquet. His name is Edmund. Uh, guy. I can send a missive to him to let him know that you are on his way so that he can help perhaps guide you. Make sure you're not lost, yes? Yes. Yeah, that would be, uh, yeah, great, yeah. Of yes. course, thank you. Remember, his name is Edmund. You can tell because he will be literally a knight in shining armor. Hmm. We fought one of those outside the temple back there. That was not I shining armor. I would call that <laughs> shining armor, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yes, uh, La Distructura. Yes, uh, thank you for protecting the realm from her <laughs> devastation and all that. <laughs> it's a dangerous situation. Hmm. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> I still have a bruise. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Oh, you should right. get out of your hair. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for making my day ever the more brighter. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> nice. 
And yeah, you guys head on out with your new little slip that says that you can basically get, here's how I'm going to say, one mm -hmm. free item or service from any store per person. Wow. Oh. Well, let's go to the magic item shops again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we so we each get one, like, almost like a voucher for something or a service yes. from one place. Like, we don't so have, like, like we from, only have the one voucher. Yeah, no, no. The, yeah. It's basically just a slip signed by the Lord that's like, here, mm -hmm. uh, like, just uh, get their signature and I will pay for whatever these adventurers have taken from you, essentially. Hmm. But yeah, right. I mean, that includes the Smith, the general goods store, the library, uh, you know, even a, a night at the, the inn. <laughs> okay, let's see. But yeah, uh, you guys head out and you have this voucher. And uh, if you wish to role play the shopping, we can, but it's not <laughs> com completely not necessary if you wish to just like look through them. I can't, oh, excuse me. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> show you uh, what shops are available left. Uh, there is the Smith and the Library. I think that's pretty much it, the ones you didn't visit. I think so. Mm. Yeah. But, um, mm. yeah. Uh, is the plan to just grab what you what's you wish today and then like leave tomorrow? I, I think that's so, the yeah. idea, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, is there anything anybody specifically needs? Can I we mean, see we the... Could always <clears throat> get some, some good, valuable items and just trade them up at the next town get some money yeah yes yes we could probably do that is there anything we need though ah. can we see the uh goods from the library and the smith yes mm. one second let me show you the library and the smith uh the library the head librarian is an orcish man called ferronrick let me show you boop Oh, Aww. I love him. He's and good. You can see he's friend shaped. <laughs> he has he, uh, he has um, spell scrolls and cantrip scrolls if you wish to buy it, but mostly just books. Uh, they are free to rent, of course, so long as you bring them back within an allotted time. Um, mm. As far as what spell scrolls are available, it's just any basically any spell of that spell level that you can find in like typical uh, okay. D and D rules. And the smith is an elven woman called Nadia. And oh. she has some... What did I say? <laughs> well, uh, listen, she's dying. not morally ambiguous. You can totally flirt with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, she has... So the uh, weapon skill thing will be dependent on the weapon. It's basically a special thing that, like, a special action, almost like a feat for your weapon that can, you can use, like, once a day. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's the smith. She does allow weapon upgrades or armor upgrades, um, infusing it with an element and all that stuff. You can see the list Ooh. there. Would I be able to upgrade my weapon with um, the voucher or no? Yes, you, you can. Like I said, one free item or service per person. Oh, yeah. I'll do that for sure. Absolutely. So upgrade plus one or add weapon skill. Uh, does, upgrade, yeah. upgrade plus one. Plus I want to upgrade so my big. So that'll be my... plus one to hit and also plus one to damage. All right, I'll see if I can edit my thing on here. God damn these prices! <laughs> um, but that's the thing—we're not paying for them. What does infusing a weapon with an element do? So that will allow you to essentially add one die smaller than your weapon's hit uh, damage die as an element. Basically, ah. infusing it okay. with an elemental crystal to add additional damage in the form of that element. That is. I was cool. wondering if there was a point in upgrading my one melee weapon, which is a dagger, but it's a D4 damage, so I don't think it would add anything. Oh. <laughs> That'd be would like it just plus be another two, D4? Right? Yeah, or probably That's a, a D2. That's a good question. I didn't think about I didn't think that You know through. what? We don't need to. I, I, I think I only have it in case of emergencies anyway. Like, I could get something like a scimitar that hits a little better, but uh, I don't know. I need as many die to roll as I can. Can I upgrade one of my daggers and just get a double d4? Uh, yeah. Okay. And I will pick fire. Fire. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So yeah, the you can your yeah. I think I'll. I think that's fair, and that gives reason to have smaller weapons. Is that you're not losing out. So uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, your Thank dagger you. now has. She infuses a little orange crystal into the the little handguard. And when you hold it, it feels gently warm to the touch. It now deals fire oh. damage. Nice. 
So the thing was one upgrade per shop per party per member or yeah, per party okay. member. Okay. Okay. Cool. Can we hold it for other towns? Hmm. I think it's oh, it's only in Sachia, sadly. Yeah, it's only in Sachia. Oh, okay. It's only limited to Sachia. Would I be able to pick up a scimitar from here? Yes. Cool. Would that be your one thing then? That would be. My, oh, sorry, is it, is it one thing total per character, or is it one thing per shop per character? Per shop per character. Then yeah, that would be my one thing from the smith. All right. Yeah. Perfect. She hands you oh, a, a, I see. a handily made scimitar. Cool. Let me just pop that sucker in here. Yep. Um, and I assume you already have. You can find the stats for that. Yeah, yeah, I'll just add it on the inventory. What does infusing a weapon with element really do? Uh, it adds a, so whatever the weapon's damage die is, it's one die smaller. So like if it's a d12, you get a d8 uh, of a chosen element. And I will take a scroll of invisibility. Ah, Whoa. wonderful. So is that from the library? Yeah, that's from the library because he sells scrolls. Right, yes, let me look at what he's got. Can I just get a book, like a book to read? A book? Any oh. any sort of book? Or just like, are you looking for something? Fiction, nonfiction, history? Um, what about like a, like a romance novel? <laughs> mm, you most certainly can find a romance novel. There's one that's incredibly graphic. There's one <laughs> that's uh, kind of more on the very slow burn to the point where like the readers have complained that they haven't even gotten to the point yet and it's so much buildup and it's basically giving everyone like just literary blue balls for 80 <laughs> chapters. I'm well, not looking for uh, I'm not looking for smut. I just would like something very wholesome, like a nice wholesome, wholesome. romance story. Yes. You're able to find something that's very nice, sweet, and short. And even though it is a complete series, everyone keeps asking for another chapter, even though the story's already complete. Mm. Wow. Do you want to? Do you want to come up with the name of it right now, or uh, should I not put you on the spot like that? Lost and adrift. Wow. Lost and <laughs> lost and adrift. Yes. That's lost how you feel and adrift. Reading it. It is okay. about. It is about uh, an old, kind of, like almost veteran airship captain who feels as though his life has not much left towards it, so he is simply drifting until he runs into uh, another sailor who is in a very similar predicament. They try to find their purpose in life together and try and find a new purpose when, in reality, the purpose they found in themselves. Aww. Aww. Lost and adrift. I'll add it to my inventory. Way for Fritz to find out what sex is. <laughs> Oh, no. boy. Can I use my voucher to infuse my crossbow with an element? You most certainly can. Mm. Ooh. So what's you know, the damage down on your crossbow? Uh, da, 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 da. It is... 1d8 plus d8. 3. D8. So you'll be adding a d6 of elemental damage. Okay. Uh, what element do I want to do? It doesn't really matter. They're just flavors at that point, aren't they? It Ooh, can nice. matter, depending on what uh, opponent. Yeah. But it's still more damage than you have. More damage is more damage, right? But yeah, flavor mm. for the most part. I want to do fire. All right. That's <laughs> yes. the second one for <laughs> to fire. To the arsenin that we had, yeah. <laughs> we'll burn them Ooh. all. Ooh, this just inspired a thought within me. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, could I get uh, from the librarian a scroll of enlarge slash reduce? What Ooh. second level? <laughs> that second level, you most certainly can. It's a sorcerer wizard thing, so I can't get it normally. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. Thank you. Um, anything else? That Is that dialogue? everyone? Uh, I'm pretty sure Fritz, you didn't grab anything from the library, did you? No, I just uh, I used my thing. I don't have enough money for. You. No, so you get one that. free item per shop. Oh, per shop? Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah. Hey, yo. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you need, because it has to do with spells, you know if you need time, we For can do it off stream. For the meme, I'm going to pick up the smut book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the smut book. Fritz learns about sex. Okay. <laughs> You're learning. The smut book is very graphically written, but not very well written. It's like not even good. 
<laughs> but you wouldn't know that because you've not read Smile. I, so. It's it by definitely. Immoral. Yeah, yeah, come up with come up with the name for that one too. Oh, geez. Joe. Um, Go ahead. It yeah, definitely just think, uses I'll, the term meat uh, wand. You pick, up, <laughs> you pick up the amorous axe maiden. Yes. The yes. amorous axe maiden. <laughs> I just imagine Fritz reads it and has no idea what's going on, so thinks it's actually a really good read. Every time it has a synonym for dick, Fritz is like, oh, it's another thing. I, how many things are involved in this process? I like that there's like, there's it's like a series of books, so like after the Amorous Axe Maiden, there's like the busty battle maid. Wait, wait, or wait, no. The... I, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to steal one from chat because it's way better. Somebody mm -hmm. said Fifty Shades of Fae. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, yes! But she hates if, the Fae. That's fine. Oh, no, no, okay. If she doesn't, if she wouldn't yeah. pick that up, then Amorous Axe Maiden is fine. But it has written underneath Tiny Fifty Shades of Fae, fighter. but they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I want to still, still keep the name, but like, let's say someone tried to cover it up because it was so graphic with a different <laughs> name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's false advertising. Somebody put on the wrong yeah. cover. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's like, it's the, like the dust sleeve. jacket for the wrong yeah, one because no. this is like a proper hardcover. Is the actually good smut, but it, it, somebody <laughs> used it to cover up uh, Fifty Shades oh, of Fae. Because it would have yeah, been embarrassing to be reading Fifty Shades of Fae, but Amorous mm. Axe Maiden, that, that's how they yeah. know you're that's classy. Yeah, 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 they're classy. That's a classic. That one won an award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fritz, you sure that's the, that's the book you want to pick out? I mean, there's other books. You, know, you, know, you don't have to pick that one out if you don't, if, I don't know. Oh, it's that's not a, a good one. Cover. <laughs> no, I just. They I, say it's nah. good. Yeah, it's, I mean, you, you I know what they say. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. It's one of my favorites. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then it's settled. Just <laughs> studiously <laughs> looking at the scrolls over here, <laughs> and you can see uh, Ferranric is just like he, he. You can see him like eyeballing, but then slowly lifting his book up to cover his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You wow. just, you'll have to let me know how it is, I guess. I've you should never read definitely it before. read the sequel. Oh, okay, I will. <laughs> There's a prequel, but that one's not that good. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah. Like the Star Wars of smut. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm haunted by the kiss. Good night, everybody. <laughs> you should have never given me. <laughs> <laughs> I will do Sorry. that. Awful, thank you. So that's the library. Uh, did, <laughs> word, did you grab anything from... The, yes, you did, and visibility. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> think that's everyone for both shops, yeah? All right. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I know what you're thinking, but sadly, no. No Tail is not eligible for this because he is Fair not enough. a local shop owner, so he does not mm. fall under the Lord's Bummer. jurisdiction. <laughs> Here we go. That's, that's a shame. I really wanted to re-up our temporary tattoo supply. <laughs> <laughs> but he is still in town because just like uh, the oh, deal yeah. that you guys made, he, he l basically pretended to leave town, but then didn't. <laughs> right. Our Ingenious. bestest friend. Much to the dismay of Dario. Mm -hmm. it wasn't our fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Should have been more specific. <laughs> Well, these right. are probably these are probably good for a night at the um the the sweet nectars if we wanted to head there. Yeah. Is that the inn? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll take a complimentary drink, but I'm going I'm going below the surface tonight. Yeah. Lightweight. I'll be checking back in with Shamaya. <laughs> <laughs> Who said we didn't have drinks down there? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you guys parting ways then? Um, Until tomorrow. I think we're we're hanging out at the tavern for a oh, little bit. Oh, hanging out at I'm, the tavern. Okay. Yeah. Unless, um, Lara, you had something. Well, I'm just assuming that these vouchers wouldn't let us go back to any of the other shops we've already been to and be like, "Hey, can I take some of your, your healing potions or whatever?" You can, um, uh, like the previous shops you've been to, like the general goods and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Even though you've oh. already been there earlier today, you have a voucher now because, like, yeah, but like there's stuff that we couldn't buy because uh, we only had like 25 gold each. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if that... We might want to give that a look, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. tavern. Yep. Yeah, so if you want, like, a health potion or a mana potion... Um, yeah, I just think more health potions is always a oh, good yeah. thing. I'll yeah. get a I'll get a greater healing potion. Yeah, once, mm. once again, here's the list from... Just because yeah, other general goods stores mm. have these listings for the most part as well. I just showed Dario because I didn't mm. make a general goods store for every possible person who might be here. Right, yes. Um, you know what? I might take that large mana potion. I would mm -hmm. love regaining three first level spell slots. Mm -hmm. 
It's very good. I'll just grab that. Thank you, Dario. Pleasure doing business. He right. he is very unhappy after you promising that No Tail would get out of here. He doesn't say any words to you. He's just like, oh, very grumpy. We did, but we did. <laughs> he did, he left. He just came back. <laughs> Whose fault yeah, is that? We we have things to do. We can't sit staying guard. <laughs> he just lifts one finger. And just like shakes his head, just like don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah. Otherwise, hanging out at the tavern, you can see that uh, the hustle and bustle has died down. The tavern is actually pretty nice and calm here. You can see Persimmons is uh, just you know doling out drinks as per usual. She's uh, chatting up one of the patrons and stuff. But it's generally a, a nice, just soft, gentle time right now. Yay. Wahoo. Sleepy time. <laughs> oh, it's cantrip. Okay. If yeah. ever, I'll use my deck of cards and like start up a game if anyone wants to. We don't have to like <laughs> play anything, but. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah. And you guys pass the time, Just pass uh, the time. and have, have a moment to chat if any of you wish to like have conversation with each other or anything like that. Mm. I want to introduce we'll you guys on the road. To if we're, are we all, um, we're, I guess we're all sitting around a table. Is that right? Yeah, I would assume that you would all sit at the same table. <laughs> I want to, I want to ask, so I'll, I'll, I'll deal a hand to, so as I'm sort of dealing out cards to everyone, one to Word, one to, uh, uh, one to Lara, one to Fritz, and as I'm going around the table, I'll say, um, I don't mean to, um, bring this up, but you all seem fairly young. Um, compared to myself, I mean, have any of you been outside of Satya before? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No. I mean, I'm not, not from Satya. I don't spend very much time in Satya, but I don't think that's what you mean. <laughs> right, I just mean this is going to be a pretty big journey, and I just want to make oh, sure yeah. everyone's mentally prepared for... Leaving a place. I mean, I, I'm also not from here originally, but I don't know if you all have thought about, you know, saying goodbye. This is, a, I understand, a pretty dangerous journey, and we may not be back. I mean, I guess possibly ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm well, gonna I'll miss be, it here. I'll be taking my leave of Shamaya tonight. I might not come back. No, I just mean like it's... No, Fritz, of course we, you'll you come can, back. <laughs> no, I, yeah, we, we're all going to survive and everything, but it's there's a lot of risk. <laughs> uh, and who knows, you might find something out there that makes you want to stay. But Satya is all I know. Satya mm. is home. When you get back, that'll be different. I don't... We are going out into the unknown. But what if I don't want different? What if I don't like different? I this is then Satya where I will am. be here. Satya will be here when we get back. I I've never thought of anywhere else but Satya. Well. Well, then you're in for a lot of it. The world out there is pretty damn different. Well, can't be that bad. It's not I'm that not different. I'm not saying bad. People are loud and rude everywhere you go, but. That the rest of the true. world is... Sometimes me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I guess I there's should. Just, there's just a lot more out there. I can't spend my whole life here. You can spend well, your life anywhere you choose, but... Yes, exploring but the vastness might be good. Is now your responsibility. I, I know, I just... Even though this is my home, I... I don't really have a place or a... I have my business, but that's it. I just use borrow the docks as a place to put it through. Dozen mm. was the reason I did this. They're like, Oi, lass, you can't you can't stay here. You gotta find yourself. But it's scary. Yes. But you know, knowing that something is scary to you and doing it anyway, getting involved. That's what being alive is. And besides, we aren't exactly aimless. We know exactly what we're going to do and why. Yeah, we do have a job to do. Yes. That is true. We have a world to save. Technically. <laughs> it's I think it's technical. only... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I think it's only just kind of dawned on me that that's really what we're doing here. We're 
yeah. trying to make sure we keep everything in order. <laughs> it is so baffling to me that nobody seems to be, you know what, it's fine. Everyone has priorities. <laughs> Well, maybe I should, this is, and I'll um, take my lemonade and put it down, and then, <laughs> but cards on the table, I should say that, at the very least, there's worse people in this town that I'd rather be traveling the rest of Alinthi with, and in the time that I've come to know you, I, I guess I'm glad that word kind of put this little group together for this. I, I, I <laughs> sort of needed to get out of here for a while, and I've been kind of stuck in a rut, so I'm excited that seems I like- I know how to find the right people. It seems like we're going to be doing something good. Um, have a little bit of meaning back. So, uh, I look forward to going on this adventure with all of you. Yes. Aww. Likewise, Buck. Likewise. <laughs> Buck, I want Fritz to pull out their candy thing and they, like, secretly... Uh, like, they, they eat some, but then they very clearly give you a larger amount, like, shift it over on the table. I, I pull out my giant candy wad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll eat some of the... I'll, like, I'll just, like, kind of... Th thank you. And just, they just I smirk definitely, at you. <laughs> like the he -he. I, like, blush, but I'll... Yeah, like, I don't... Uh, thank you for the candy. I like, I I like the candy. the one ancient corn taffy that I haven't <laughs> eaten that's just been in my pocket because I didn't have the heart to, like, put it back in front of Elias, mm. but when he was like, oh, I can't even remember when some of those things got in there, I was like, I'm not putting this in my body. <laughs> but Buck can have it. Oh, thank you. You're all just well, handing me candy. That's not what I meant. I didn't do this so that you would call him. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? You're I'm like, I'm like bright. I'm like people. bright. I'm like bright red with Fritz and Lara handing me the candy. And I'm just like, oh, like, thank, like thank you. Life. My huge chunk. Who said I was giving you my candy? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, uh, if you all have, I'm just gonna be here tonight. I don't know if you all have anything else that you'd want to do before we head out in the morning, but. I'll be ready for that. Yes. Anything yeah. now? I mean, now cards are literally on the table. If anyone <laughs> feels like there's anything that needs to be said, now's probably the time to do it. I put my cards on the table. Ooh. Literally, not metaphorically. Of just, course. Just, <laughs> you dealt cards. Yeah. Word, how many jacks are in that hand? <laughs> oh, um, I think five. Interesting. <laughs> I'm <laughs> to reevaluate my impression of a standard hand? deck. You put it on the table. <laughs> I'm face down. I'm not losing the game. Oh! <laughs> the rules of this game are very intricate. Mm. Lero is peeking. No. You was that not that. allowed? You're sitting right next to me. Oh, boy. <laughs> How have you still been losing this whole time? Oh, no. Uh, well, Wonderful I gotta go time. warn my people about, uh, you know, the witch. Ah, uh, yes. See you all in the morning. Word gets up and he, mm -mm. he heads off to the underground. All right. Night <laughs> I should take my leave as well. I may be able to communicate something to Shamaya. If nothing else, I believe I'll be able to put her on guard. Oh, I'll hand you the note that I wrote. Oh, <laughs> uh, th thank you. We'll see yeah. if I can find a way to do this without turning into a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of bad. I agree. But it would certainly draw attention in her direction after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call that plan C. <laughs> and I will, uh, I'll scooch. All right. So, you guys, uh, depart to your respective places. Uh, Fritz and Buck, are you guys staying at the inn? I'm staying at the inn. I don't know about what Fritz, Fritz. would be doing. Yeah, I mean, I kind of half live here. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't know if you wanted to go to the docks and, I don't know, like, sleep by the, uh, the, I don't know, some of the, in, the like, places there that some of the sailors like to stay, like, but... Oh, I could, s yeah, I guess I could sleep on one of the boats yeah. outside. I think there are buildings yeah. by the dock, too. Like, yeah. the sailors have to stay somewhere. Yeah. I'll, I'll just sleep. take all the, I'll take all the cards and I'll play, I'll put them into solitaire formation and I'll <laughs> play by myself. <laughs> Good luck with... All the Jack's words somehow added to the deck. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> counting the cards. Like, there's not supposed to be like 65 cards in a deck. <laughs> Half of like them have different jacks. like back patterns. <laughs> Tarot One of card them is in there. Just like a, a laundromat card. <laughs> but yeah, Fritz, where are you where are you going? Are you staying at the inn, or are you going to um, uh, some of the buildings by I, the docks I or kinda, one of the boats? 
I might go to one of the boats because I want to cuddle up with Sifa. Yeah, yeah. You do. You do find Sifa like just like around. Um, is it a he or a she? Sifa is a cat. Sifa <laughs> is a cat. They they would <laughs> big mood. They would find you at the dock, and you would have a hard time finding them considering they're completely black, um, and blend into Sifa the night beside their point. glowy green eyes. <laughs> But yeah, you're able to keep them company, and we're gonna go one by one. Firstly, word. You find your little underground hideout with your lackeys, and you can see that uh, they are all huddled around, kind of blocking view of something that you can't quite see. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of, without a word, <laughs> without speaking, <laughs> I will uh, step forward and like push a couple people aside and see what's What's what? A few of them just like, oh, boss is here, boss! And they all spread, <laughs> and you can see that they have made a really not very good stone <laughs> statue of you. Oh. oh, this is the best work of art in this whole town. Oh, this is precious. You can see the snout <laughs> is like crooked. The eyeballs are like, they, they, they're like little pebbles in place of eyes, and it's about to fall apart. <laughs> and you can see Claudio uh, kind of mm. stands up as the pseudo lead of the pack. And it's like, boss, boss, yeah, we're so glad you like it, boss. We worked on it all day considering <laughs> you were away. And, you know, seeing that you were m moving away tomorrow and we won't see you for a while. Uh, we, we wanted to give you a little bit of a parting gift as a thanks for taking care of us. Or just like wipes his eyes for no reason. It's uh, <laughs> It means a lot, Claudio. You really are. You really are a... Uh, an artist. Oh, no, not just me. The whole lackeys. And they're all, they're all like, uh, <laughs> just holding their hands up. You can see some of them are a little bit calloused. Aw. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You are, you are precious people. And I have a, yeah, a warning, actually. There is, uh, that witch that made all that gunk rain down from the sky, she is going to be staying in town. You and see a few of them gasp? <gasps> yeah. You want us She's to stab a, a boss? Uh, maybe when I get back, we'll see. But uh, for now, if you see an old orc woman uh, walking around, and he'll like, kind of describe the general area, mm -hmm. just steer clear. And if she does anything strange, go let people know what she did. Oh. oh. You got it, boss. Stay you safe. See, you can see uh, Claudio walks yeah. up to you. Uh, hey, uh, boss. And she kind of tugs at your coat a little bit. So uh, me and the other peeps, we, we were talking. We was talking about some stuff, and uh, uh, this will be the first time in a long time we'll be without a boss. And uh, well, we, we mm. there are a few things we ain't too sure about. Like what? Didn't I tell you that don't take all the chickens and pumpkins are bigger? Isn't uh, yeah. that? Yeah, actually, that was part of the thing, really. Um, <laughs> ah. like first, why is it so important that pumpkins are bigger? I, I mean, you're right, they are, but uh, why do we need to know I'm, that? I'm just saying, if a hunter comes, if a uh, Farmer or a gardener comes out chasing after you, you're gonna want the pumpkins, not the, the smaller fruit, the, the vegetables, like the carrots and stuff. They're too tiny. And like, you can see a few of them are whispering <laughs> and nodding their head. Oh, yeah, he's, he's right there. I'm smaller. <laughs> oh, right. With it. You're and so smart, boss. The cool boss, thing about boss, pumpkins boss. is if you cut open the top, you can put other stuff in them and carry it off, like a bunch of carrots. Oh. They're like little bowl fruits. You mean you can put fruits and veggies inside other fruits and veggies? <gasps> you can. <laughs> He's like kind of realizing it himself. <laughs> oh my gosh, boss, you're so wise. Right? Yeah. You're so smart, boss. Just, um, just uh, you know, don't go, don't go putting chickens in pumpkins. It doesn't work like that. Oh, okay. Uh, now the the next question we had was, um, what do we do while you're gone? Yeah, I mean, uh, you had plans for us before you signed up for the tournament, and 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 then you won because you're so great. But then, uh, what do we do, like specifically? Well, uh, obviously, you gotta keep expanding the sewers, you know, make make more rooms for the new people, uh, bump up our numbers a little bit while I'm gone. And, uh, <laughs> I'll help with that before I leave. Oh, the orders uh, of the what? boss, y'all need to get nasty. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe keep an eye on the farmers, figure out what they're doing, do like the same thing that they're doing. Oh. Make, make food for us. Okay. Ah, oh, I gotcha. And, yeah, you know, if there's anything shiny, you know, grab it. I'll look at it when I get back. <laughs> and one more question, boss. Uh, last yeah. one for the night. Uh, me What's and up? the lot were concerned about uh, what happens, and you can see Claudio is really struggling to find the right words, mm -hmm. and she's just, like, kind of rubbing her hands. 
Uh, what happens if you find a new group of lackeys out in the mainland? Uh, <gasps> oh. Better lackeys. No. You have too little faith in me, Claudio. <laughs> There's no one else out there that matters more than you guys. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can see a few of them are <laughs> like tearing up and like hand over their their snouts. Oh, it's exactly and, uh, why you're so great, boss, that I, I'm worried. You're so charismatic that anybody would follow you to the ends of the earth. And there's only so much boss to go around sometimes. And <laughs> If that does happen, I'll bring them back and they'll work for you. <gasps> oh, Really? Oh, yeah. And, you know, don't doubt for a second that I'm, that I'm not coming back. Nothing's going to happen to Wood. And they all kind of lift their fist and, and chant, Boss! 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 I go to my little, like, boss. sewer throne made of garbage, and I sit down, <laughs> pop open. Yeah, um, you know what? Yeah, that corked bottle of ale that I was given, I'll pop that one open and I'll share yeah. it with them. Yay! They all take a few sips and start to quiet down as the night comes. Yeah. So next, we're going to go <laughs> to... Layra, as you are heading back to your cot with Shamaya. Yep. And she hears you come in and uh, kind of just like, uh, how was your day, child? Uh, eventful. Hmm. Do you wish to elaborate? Well, we fought the dragon. Uh, yes, I worry we disappointed him slightly. We didn't go through every room in his... Very exciting dungeon. Oh, well, Heaves are going to have to suck it up. It's part of the job. I know I yes. completely ignored several of his strange mazes that he made for me when I went on Pilgrim. He does seem to enjoy mazes, yes. Um, yes, well, I suppose it's happening, isn't it? Yes, quite. In fact, I actually hmm? had some concern for you, child, and wanted to ask you something. Oh, yes? I know you, everything you do tends to be an attempt to make me proud and all that and taking on this pilgrimage to save the world as it were and that's mm. mighty fine motivation to have but is that all you care about well is that all there is to prove make me proud and save the world well i've had very little else hmm. it does seem that you and the world are the only things i have she gets up from her workstation and walks on over to you and looks you in the eyes for one of the rare times and one of the rare times she makes physical contact with you, puts a hand on your shoulder. Lyra, I brought you into this world so that I could bring something good into it. But you are a person. You're a person with your own being and your own independence. And I want you to find your own purpose, not mine, not someone else's, not even Elinthe's. Yes, saving the world is important, but I want you, child, to be your own. Whatever that purpose may be, I do hope that you can find it. Not for me, but for you. Well, well of course, but, but someone does have to do this. And if this is what I'm good at, and, and there's so little else that has ever made sense to me, and I... She puts one hand to caress your cheek. And that is all well and good. But not let it, don't let it be all you are. You understand? I, I think so. We, we discussed today that the world is very large and much of it is different than all I have known. And I suppose it's difficult to conceive of that until I experience it, but... I I like to think I am prepared because I have to be. She because this is... sh shakes her head and looks down a bit. Oh, child, how poor a teacher am I? We're never prepared. No, I... I understand. There's... Just today, we've dealt with so many things I've, I've never seen before. Things I didn't think were possible. And I... I suppose the only measure of readiness is to be able to confront the unknown. But this is important, and it's so strange to me that, that nobody acts like it is. There are, 
There are many things in this world, but so few of them matter. And, and the, the more I see, the less I feel that I can do. But if I'm good at this one thing that needs doing, I, I don't know. I, the world is so big, but so little of it has a place for me. So. Uh, well, I fear I may, may have made you more like me than I thought. You've been an excellent teacher, and I, I, I appreciate all that you've done for me, and I, I know I'm not the best student, and I struggle with many things that, that seem to come so naturally to so many others, and I appreciate very much all the time you've given me. And if I can repay it in any way, I want, I want to make you proud, but I want to be worthy of what you've given me. And if pride follows, I suppose that's all I could want. And she nods her head ever so gently. And she just looks up to you. I already am proud of you, child. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Pupils go big. Yeah. <laughs> then I suppose all I can continue to do is attempt to save the world. <laughs> well, let's not put too much pressure on your own shoulders. Yes, it mm. is important, but it was that idealistic, naive girl today that taught me that this journey is as much for you as it is for everyone else. No, no doubt, Elias has told you, there are safeguards, and this is more of a celebration rather than an actual duty. Yes, it is a duty. Yeah, it's complicated. Why do they have to make things so complicated? Yes, that's been confusing me as well. This feels like it should be simple. It should be the priority. Uh, it's the well-being of the entire kingdom. Uh, you can thank internal politics of the provinces for mucking that up. You would oh, think dear. something s such as keeping the world running would be so easy, but... I suppose that's what we're for. Yes. But I do hope you heed my words to heart, child, that it's okay to have something for yourself as well. I will attempt. <laughs> I'll do my best. And that's all you can do. Yes. And now get some rest. You've got a long trip ahead of you. Certainly. Oh, before I forget, um, there's a new spellcaster in town with skills in weather manipulation. I believe she could be helpful in confronting certain difficulties while I'm gone. She squints her eyes, tilts her head a bit, <laughs> walks up to you. <laughs> she waves a hand kind of across your face, and it starts to, her hand starts to glow a little bit. Uh oh, <laughs> dispelling oh. it. And uh, she takes it in. I see. Well, then I will have to go ask her for some assistance now, wouldn't I? Yes, I believe that would be very helpful for many people in the yes. city. Okay. <laughs> very good. Thank you for letting me know, child. Of course. And I'm sorry if that leash is a bit too tight. I will be looking into breaking it for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> and she and goes I'm... back to her workstation. And I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness I'm so bad at lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next is going to be Fritz and C4. Mm -hmm. You Ooh. are both just at, you know, the shores, looking out to the sea. Is there anywhere in particular you are, like just on the docks, mm -hmm. in a building, in a boat? You know, like some of the little boats that they'll have to transport from the bigger boats, mm -hmm. just kind of sitting in one of those, and she's like a little, just like blankets, like a makeshift little bed. You can see that uh, C4 is just kind of purring, laying on her, her back 
with her paws uh, just <laughs> pointed up cat. into the sky. It's kind of... Wait, did I miss that this cat was named after an explosive? <laughs> no, that's, that's not the joke. So let's oh. see, slowly say the name. Sifa. Sifa, sorry. Oh, Sifa. Yeah, but Cifer. say, say it C Yeah, like she has ocean fur. No, C for <laughs> cat. Seafer. Uh, C for cat. The letter C for cat. Oh my god. Yeah. Cat. My brain Cifer. went to C for cookie, <laughs> yeah. but that makes Cifer. a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, not C for. Okay. Hmm. Named after a real cat, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> oh, that's great. But yeah, Seifer's just kind of pawing at the sky. You see the stars are out. There's like just like a little fly above them that they're just trying to nap at. And uh, it's mostly a quiet night. No one come to disturb you. And the the cat is just kind of enjoying the presence with you. And you can hear kind of footsteps uh, in one of the boats nearby, just like the clacking of uh, shoes on wood, just walking back and mm -hmm. forth, pacing. I just, like, I kind of pet Sifa, and I'm like, I'm gonna miss you, Sifa. Sifa gives a little meow it's just, and a big yawn. <laughs> <sighs> You're my first little friend, huh? <laughs> One of many, but first. I hope I can make more. C4 <laughs> just like turns its head, just like. <laughs> <laughs> I won't forget you, buddy. Don't worry. C4 goes back to its comfortable position. <laughs> <laughs> you know, looking at the water, it's scary when you realize you've got to go out there. I've only been on boats a couple of times, but never with the intention of going out. Seifer gives you a, an inquisitive look, like tilting its head. <laughs> hmm. I mean, just like me. Uh, just, you're just like me, you know? Like, this is all we know. This is where we are. We both just ended up on the docks one day and kind of just never left. Seifer gets up and gets to kind of like the tip of the boat, just hanging and looking out towards the dimly lit Nuba sky in the distance and looks back at you. It's pretty. And they stay it'll eyes fixated fine. on it. What's up? It's just, it's just like, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's scary. Cat gets back down, curls up on your lap, stretches a bit, and then goes to sleep. <laughs> Well, now you can't move for the rest of the night, so... Yeah, no, I can't move now. <laughs> I hope whoever's on that other boat is fine with not being a plot hook yeah. tonight. <laughs> Cats are like immovable rods. Or they just they deadlock when they sit in your lap. If you can get one to fall asleep in midair, it's great for... Oh, anyway. it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, we go to Buck in the inn. Uh, have you already uh, made your way... Uh, like into your in room, or are you still like playing solitaire by yourself? No, I've I've like cleaned up the solitaire and, and then you I'm crushed moving. that game of solitaire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finished it so fast, and then I I'll go up into yeah I'll go up to my room. Yep, and you can see that Persimmons has just finished cleaning it and getting it prepped and ready for you, and she kind of walks outside and just like oh there you go, Buck. Uh, thank you, Persimmons. I I appreciate it. Um. It's, we're going to be leaving for a while. I haven't forgotten my pledge to get you something shiny while we're all out there. Oh, thank you, Buck. Uh, well, uh, it's all the same. i got to turn in for the night. And she kind of goes to grab you a little bit and just pulls you back a little bit. And she speaks up. Buck, I know you've been yeah, uh, through your hardships and troubles, but no matter what anyone may tell you, she puts a finger on your chest. There's a good man in there. You've done a lot of people wrong, myself included, but I can see there's a good man in there. And you don't uh, forget that, okay? I'll uh, take my hand and I'll like kind of uh, reach my one of my hands to where her hand is on my chest and I'll just like take her hand in mine. I'll say, I um, I, I appreciate the, the thought. Um, I'm hoping to find some form of something out there, so um, if that can start 
here at home. Assuming that that's what Sasha is to me now, I, I appreciate it. I really do. I see that glint in your eye. You've got something that you've been chasing a long time. And I, I thought I thought so. You know, I've seen that eye in many a man in my time. Uh, oh, well, and I'll, like, let her hand go and uh, <laughs> uh, take a step back towards the door uh, of my room. Ah, don't worry. I know it's not me. In fact, I'm <laughs> it's not that... No, no, it's 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 not. I mean, you're a, you're beautiful, and of course, and I. That's oh, not I know. what I meant to say. I there's just, I guess you're right. There's just always someone that I've been chasing. So, well, as someone who has had that same glint in her own eyes, I'll let you know now that be careful to temper those wants. We don't know who it might affect. I know I've well, definitely lost some good ones to some of my obsessions. But that's all in the past now. You sleep well, Buck. You do the same, Persimmons. Um, and then I'll go into my room, and I'll look down at my hand, and I'm going to take off all three of my rings, and <laughs> I'll just put them at the nightstand, and um, I'll sit down and kneel by my bed, and I'm going to uh, like take the the deck of cards out and I'll put, I'll lay out all eight cards and for all eight blank cards out in front of me. And, um, I will say a prayer and, um, so I'll fold my hands as I'm, I'm looking at the cards and I'll be like, dearest lady, I'm sitting out once again for whatever darn reason I decide to do. I really hope that this is what you have a hand over in all this. Look, I know I've asked for a lot over these years, and... Oh, man, these... These kids that I'm traveling with, they're really, really gonna need a lot of luck if we're gonna make it through this all together. I mean, these... They have no idea what's out there. Uh, but they're... They're, they're, they're nice people. And if you would see fit to guide your hands over this journey for us, maybe just... Whatever last luck I got left in me to squeeze out of, uh, if you could just give it to, to them for the rest of this journey, I promise I'll, I'll, I'll end this stupid quest of mine. I'll, I'll, I'll give over to whatever it is you want me to do. I'll work in the fields for the rest of the time that I have left, but I feel like I really need this and I need it to go well. So if you could just end up not letting those three get hurt on account of me, that's kind of what I'd be asking for. And I'll just be quiet. And as and you're saying this, when you, like, just the, the momentary shuffle of your breathing, your coin falls out of your pocket. And it <laughs> dun, 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 just kind of, like, rolls across the, the floor and gets slotted into one of the floorboards midway so that it doesn't fall heads or tails. Oh, my God. No, oh, no. Wait, um, you pinch. <laughs> I will I will gather up the, the the eight cards and I'll put them back in their sleeve and then I'll go lean over and I'll pick up the coin and just sort of inspect it just really quickly. It's your all or nothing coin. It seems to have landed on its side. <laughs> oh baby. I'll take it and I'll like squeeze my hand and be like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, all right. Faith in you. All right. Good night, dearest lady. And then I'll turn in. Go to sleep. And you do so. Yeehaw. You all actually sleep fairly soundly. We're almost done. <laughs> oh, thank God, I can mark off a long rest. <laughs> yep, mark off a long rest. I've been rest. at 21 hit points Ooh. all day. You get all your, your hit points back, you get your spell slots, all your class features, all return. And you all kind of gather after you gather your belongings and get ready and say your goodbyes. Uh, Captain Dozen uh, calls you to come aboard the Nado Hogir, the main ship to take you to the mainland. Uh -huh. 
And as you are all boarding, a, a large crowd has formed by the docks, waving you so long and good luck on your trip, including Jorbib and Koriak. Persimmons is there blowing kisses. Claudio yeah. and the lackeys are chanting boss. <laughs> Jade is waving farewell while her other arm is like hung over her uncle's shoulder. Even Shamea is standing by the shores <gasps> away from the crowd to watch Whoa. you depart. Oh my goodness. Just it's about just everyone in Satya has come to bid you farewell as Captain Dozen calls anchors away and the ship departs for the mainland of Alinthi. And that is going to be where we call today's session. Woo! Heck yeah. Yeah. Boss, very boss, good session. Boss, 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 boss. boss, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Like, gives a wink to Lyra. <laughs> yep. She has to hold down the fort while I'm away. Well, yeah, we, we, we had to bump up those numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>